Welcome to Fanfiction Audiobook. Comprehensive Comics. Lord of All Demons, 100 Ghosts Walking in the Night. Chapter 51. What the hell is this fire? Notarabang's face showed extreme pain, and his voice was hoarse when he spoke. He knew that he would definitely not be able to escape, so he wanted to know what kind of trick he died under. The fire that burns all karma will burn nothing in the world, not even God. Nura Rikushung spoke, and then he snapped his fingers with his right hand, and with a pop sound, the karma fire on Notarabo instantly became fierce. The blue fire illuminated the entire house, and Notarabo was burned down in two seconds. There is no residue left. Gulu. Hanakaiyuan Yuluo couldn't help rolling her throat, looking at Nuliang Lusheng's face with a dull expression, as if she wanted to look at him. Nuliang Raikuo looked at the heavy rain outside. If he left it alone, it would have rained for about half an hour, but he didn't have that much time to take shelter from the rain, so he used his astronomical power to stop the rain. The dark clouds dispersed, revealing the white moon. He stood at the door and said with satisfaction, the wind has stopped and the rain has stopped, so it's time for us to go. Seeing Nura Raikuo who had just killed a powerful monster but was so calm, as if he had done an insignificant thing, everyone looked at each other. Kiyoshiki Kitsugu was the most familiar with Nura Rikushung, and he asked, Um, Rikushung, what happened to the blue flames you just made? Is it possible that you are also an Anmyoji? Nuliang Lusheng turned around and said with a faint smile, I am not an Anmyoji. You can think of me as a person who has awakened superpowers. Of course, awakening superpowers was a lie to them, and he would not tell the truth. It was enough to use his superpowers to deceive them. Superpower. It turns out to be a superpower. Since there are monsters, ghosts, and Anmyojis in this world, it seems that it is not difficult to accept the addition of a superpower. Really. After hearing this, everyone did not doubt that he was there, because Nura Rikushung's identity was indeed a human being, so if he had strange powers, it would make sense that he had superpowers. Even Yura Hanakane believed it, but Yuri Sawamura was the only one who was thoughtful, because Riku Nura's ability to use blue flames and the way of controlling it were similar to that of the Monster Lord. Isn't it too coincidental? Kiyoshi G. Kiyoshi sighed and said, Our strange detective team is really amazing. There are on my OGs, people with super powers, a girl who can see ghosts, and a senior who has a super low sense of presence. It is unprecedented and unprecedented. It's a super club, but it's a pity that today is my last day in the club, and I am satisfied to see such a combination. Nura Rikushung didn't understand what he meant, and asked, Kitsugu, what's wrong with you? What do you mean, today is your last day in the club? This club has only been established for two days. Kiyosushi Kiyosugu said with some bitterness, Well, I received a temporary notice from my parents on the subway. Tomorrow, Saturday, we will move abroad due to family reasons. It happened so suddenly. Although I couldn't bear to let it go, but there is nothing we can do about it, so Lu Shang, I will leave the strange detective team to you. You will be the leader and lead the team members to continue the adventure to find the Lord of Monsters and fulfill my unfinished wish. Nuliang Lusheng, underscore. Eri Sawamura, Mai Sakurajima, Huakaiyuan Yuluo, Oikawa Hingre. It was indeed very sudden. Unexpectedly, just two days after the school started, Kiyoshiki Kiyosugu moved out due to family reasons and left the club to Nura Raikuo to take care of. And once Kiyoshiki Kitsugu left, only one male, Nura Raikuo, and four other beautiful girls were left in the entire club. Should the club's name be changed to Nura Raikuo's harem group? The other beautiful girl members didn't say anything. Anyway, they were not familiar with Kiyoshiji Kiyatsugu. It seemed good to change their minister. After all, he was a powerful superpower, stronger than Yura Hanakane, and on Myoji. Therefore, because of Kiyoshiki Kiyoshi's departure and achievement, only Kiyoshiki Kiyoshi was injured in the world. After the incident was over, everyone returned. Bingley, please go back first, I still have something to deal with. Oikawa Hingre did not doubt his presence, nodded and replied, Oh, young master, don't stay out too late, otherwise we should worry again. Nura Rikushung touched Oikawa Hingre's head and said, I understand, go back quickly. Oikawa Hingre enjoyed Nura Raikuo's head butting, with a look of happiness in her eyes. 
It wasn't until Nero Raikuo stopped her hand that she reluctantly said, Then young master, I'm leaving. Go ahead. After Oikawa Hingre's body disappeared from Nero Raikuo's sight, Madara walked out of the dark corner and jumped on Nero Raikuo's shoulders. Nero Rikushung stretched himself and said, Let's go and meet the strongest Valkyrie for a while. Aren't you going to take your Hiaki Yako with you? No, this is not a group battle. I'm a very fair person and don't like to bully the smaller ones. It's too far-fetched to let the hundred demons deal with the strongest Valkyrie. It's better for me to do it myself. Leading Hiaki Yako can indeed enhance Nero Raikuo's strength, because there will be a connection between Hiaki and the leader. The stronger the leader, the stronger the Hiaki will be on the battlefield, and the fear of Hiaki will also be reflected back in the leader's body, named Karma. Hundred Ghost Nightwalk does not fight individually, but fights as a group. But facing the strongest Valkyrie, Hiaki Yako is of little use. The main thing is to decide the winner between the strongest. Besides, isn't it about you? Nuru Raikuo, who had turned into a monster, rode Fox Madara to a shrine where the Valkyrie Bishaman was enshrined. Although the shrine was not big, it was just one of them. Standing in front of the shrine, Nuru Raikuo shouted, Bishamontan, I am the lord of the night of 100 demons, the slippery ghost Nuru Raikuo. I heard that you took care of me last night, and you killed some monsters in the group, and I've been injured by you, the Kadri, and I'm here today to ask for advice. At the same time, Takamagahara is a huge island floating on the sea and in the clouds, a celestial world where the gods live. In a small independent island in Takamagahara, this entire area is the territory of the Valkyrie Bishamontan. In a super modern luxury villa, a woman with blonde hair and purple eyes and beautiful appearance is sitting in a meeting. At the sea seat of the long table, he held a meeting with the artifacts he usually carried with him in a heroic manner. This person is none other than Bishaman, the strongest Valkyrie. Among all the female gods, she is both the strongest and the most beautiful. Bishaman is dressed in military uniform, with a fierce aura around her, and her tone of voice is capable and heroic. After all, she is a god on the battlefield, suppressing everything with force, giving people a full sense of oppression. A four-eyed girl sitting on the right side of Bishaman pushed up her glasses with her hands and said, Bishaman Sama, I feel a lot more dirty recently than before, and my workload has increased accordingly. Bishaman glanced away and said, There is nothing that can be done about this. As the human world changes, life has gradually changed from being difficult to having food and clothing now. Once people have been comfortable for a long time, the pressure of life will all kinds of negative emotions will arise, and we, the gods of war, are here to eliminate the filth, Jauma, and we should never complain like this again. Jauma immediately nodded and said, Yes, Lord Bishaman. When Bishaman saw this, he said everything he needed to say, and the meeting should end. Bishaman, I am the lord of the night of 100 demons, Nuru Raikuo, the slippery ghost. I heard that you took care of me last night. You killed some monsters in the group and injured the Kadri Ukiki. I came here today to ask for advice. One or two. From her own shrine, Bishaman heard Nuru Rikushung's words, and there was a look of surprise in her eyes. Bishamontan pondered and said, The slippery ghost, Nuru Raikuo, must be the grandson of the big monster Nuru Skull. Miss, what happened? A man named Yuba asked. His artifact was in the form of a lion, and it was also Bishaman's mount. As a divine weapon that was going to fight with her, Bishaman naturally had to explain. She said, didn't the Nura group cause a scene in the whole city last night? The purpose was to find their young master, because they made too much noise, and I was running rampant in the human world, and I killed a few monsters when I happened to encounter them. Later, I fought with the leader of the Nuraang group and injured him. Now the young master of the Nuraang group comes to ask me for advice. Quote. A female artifact with glasses named Shaoba said disdainfully, young master of the Nuliang group. Ha ha ha, isn't that just a brat who dares to attack my sister? It's really asking for death. Quote. Another mature looking female artifact wearing black stockings, Hongba, said, the other party is the young master of the largest monster organization in the Kanto region of the human world. Killing him will be a lot of trouble. The Nura group will definitely go to war with us. Lord Bishaman even though he is a god, he cannot face the entire Nura group, 
and the Tena gang will not help us deal with the monsters, and they might just use the hands of the monsters to get rid of us. Quote. The Nuragumi is the strongest monster organization in the Kanto region. Even if the strongest Valkyrie provokes the opponent, it will definitely be uncomfortable. Moreover, the gods of Takamagahara are not monolithic. Just like the human world, gods also have selfish motives and various internal disputes. Of course I know this, don't worry, I won't kill Master Nuliang, but if he dares to provoke me, Bishamantan, he must suffer a little. Bishaman is naturally measured, she is not the kind of warrior god who doesn't use her brain to act recklessly. Jiaochi, Haochi, Sutra device, Shaochi, Autumn device, Cutting device, Numbering device. Bishaman called out the names of several artifacts in succession and equipped all the artifacts around the conference table. The reason why she has the title of the strongest Valkyrie in her mobile arsenal is precisely because Bishaman carries a variety of artifacts when fighting. There are at most one or two other gods, but Bishaman starts with several, and there are other artifacts left in Takamagahara. When you want to use them, just shout out the name of the artifact, and it will appear directly in your hand from Takamagahara's residence. Nura Raikuo, who was standing outside the Bishaman shrine, was writing on Madara, looking at the shrine below, but there seemed to be no movement. Madara stood in the air and glanced at him. Rikushung, Bishaman is also the strongest Valkyrie after all. Your name is not famous, and I think people ignore you. Nura Rikushung was not in a hurry, he said. Not necessarily, after all, my name is the young master of Nura group, and it was the beginning of what happened last night. I came to Bishaman, she should meet with me, but it really can't be done. Then smash this shrine and force her out. You brat from the Nura group, you are so brave. You actually said you wanted to destroy my shrine. You are very brave. As soon as Bishaman came out, she heard Nura Raikuo say that he was going to smash her shrine, which made her angry and veins popped out on her forehead. In how many years, this was the first time I heard someone say that they wanted to destroy her shrine. Isn't this the same as destroying her home? Are you Bishamontan? Looking ahead, a man wearing a military cap and a leather jacket appeared on a lion. He had thick blonde hair that reached down to his feet and purple pupils. He had perfect facial features worthy of a goddess, coupled with his strong and outgoing temperament. Nuliang Lusheng couldn't help but his eyes lit up. This is the real goddess, or the Valkyrie. It is indeed perfect. Huang. With golden body proportions and slender legs, she looks very tall. As beautiful as Platycodon, both have their own merits compared to Bishamontan, but Bishamontan is superior in temperament. After all, Bishamontan has the aura of a god. Suddenly, an idea came to Nuliang Rikusheng's mind. Among his women, there were demons and witches, so wouldn't it be better to have a god? Bishamont really did not have any regrets. She said, I am Bishamontan. Last night, your Nura group disturbed human safety in the city. As a god of war, shouldn't I do it for you? Do you want to take action against you in order to maintain order? Nuliang Rikusheng did not refute, but nodded and said, That's right. As the young master of the Nuliang group, I should seek justice for my family who was killed by you and the monsters you injured. Dot. Seeking justice. You look so menacing, right? Bishaman looked at Nura Raikuo's unrestrained demonic aura and the fox-like demon king under his seat. He looked at them all looking for trouble. But what she didn't expect was that this Nuliang young master actually came with the demon king. The demon king's strength should not be underestimated, and even she had to deal with it carefully. Bishaman is known as the strongest Valkyrie, but she is not invincible. After all, the title is not the strongest god, because although there are not many stronger than her, there are some. Nura Rikusheng raised his hand and clenched his fist, for existences like us, isn't it only the one with the strongest fist who can be reasonable? Bishaman looked at Nura Raikuo, suddenly laughed and taunted, Ha ha ha, you want to compete with me to see whose fists are stronger. You naive brat, don't think that you are crazy if you have a little bit of strength. You are arrogant, but you don't realize that you are just sitting there watching the sky. Quote. Seeing that the other party seemed to look down on him, Nura Rikusheng said, Oh. How about we make a bet? Bishaman crossed his arms in front of him and asked with interest, What bet do you want to make? The corner of Nuliang Lusheng's mouth raised slightly, and he said in an unruly tone, If you lose, treat me as my woman. 
If I lose, I will let you do whatever you want. What do you think? What? Not only Bishaman, but also her sacred weapons were shocked. The demon fox Madara under Nura Raikua was also dumbfounded. This guy is too wild. He actually wants a god to be her woman. It's exciting. Shoba said hurriedly, Sir, please don't accept this bet. Lion Heba also persuaded loudly, Yes, miss, this bet cannot be accepted. Gods are not like humans and demons who can break the contract. Once an oath is made, it is like a contract. If it is violated, it will definitely come back to bite you, and you will be wiped out. Even the replacement of gods can't do it. As long as the faith is immortal, the famous gods are immortal in a sense. Even if they die, they will be reincarnated to complete the replacement of generations. However, the replacement of generations cannot retain the memory of the previous generation, and will not disappear because of being forgotten, because the memory cannot be retained. So it's like a different soul has settled in the body, and I am no longer myself. Bishaman has been herself for thousands of years since her birth, and has never been replaced. However, once a god makes an oath but breaks the contract, he will suffer heaven's punishment. This heaven's punishment is not the punishment of other gods' crusade, but the punishment of heaven in the true sense, which directly causes the god who broke the contract to disappear completely. While famous gods have endless lifespan and power, they also have many taboos. As an earring blessing weapon, Zhao Ma clenched his fists in the artifact space and said calmly, Master Bishaman, you don't need to pay attention to him. He is just a young boy who has only lived for 20 years. He doesn't know the heights of the world and the gods. Can you just make assumptions? Bishaman listened to the various persuasion from his divine weapon, but no one thought that she was bound to win. This made her frown in annoyance and said sternly, Shut up, all of you, don't you? Do you all think that I will lose to the slippery ghost's grandson? This, is not that I am worried that Lord Bishaman will lose, but that this bet is really inappropriate. Hearing Bishaman's angry words, the artifacts were shocked. After hearing Nura Rikushung's bet, they all subconsciously asked Bishaman to reject it, but they forgot that Bishaman had his own arrogance. They persuaded him like this, but were rejected by Bishaman. Bishaman thought that these artifacts did not believe that her master would win. Bishaman taught him a lesson, HMPH, I am just a brat, how could I still lose? You have been following me for so many years, and yet you are so rude. Seeing Bishaman thinking, Nura Rikushung said, Bishamantan, have you thought about it? If you don't have the confidence to accept this bet, then admit that you are not as good as me, and follow me back to apologize to Nura. The matter was wiped out. Bishaman waved his right hand domineeringly and said, You don't have to provoke me, I will accept your bet, Bishaman. She didn't take Bishaman seriously about the bet proposed by Raikuo Nura from the beginning. In her opinion, this young master of the Nura group didn't know the heights of the world. She could defeat him in one round. What was a little troublesome was that he is just a demon king fox, but just like that, he will definitely win. If you don't even have this little bit of self-confidence, you can still talk about being the strongest Valkyrie if you are timid. Okay, let's make an oath before starting the war. Nura Raikuo also admired Bishaman's courage, but in the other's view, defeating him was only a matter of a moment, so Madara was a bit difficult to deal with, but this kind of arrogance was often the most fatal. Bishamontan was also decisive and began to swear without saying a word, I, Bishamontan, hereby swear that if I lose to Nura Raikuo, I will become his woman and respect him. If I violate it, I will be punished by heaven and earth. After Bishaman made the oath, a divine light shone on Bishaman, indicating that a contract had been made. If he violated it, he would be punished by heaven and earth as he said. Oaths sworn by gods have been rare since ancient times, because once an oath is sworn, it will be carried out unless you want to die without a burial place. But if Bishaman defeats Nura Raikuo and nothing happens, this oath will be invalidated, but if he loses, he must abide by this oath. You are satisfied now. Bishaman looked at Nura Raikuo proudly, with a calm tone. This so-called oath will be released soon. For her, defeat is impossible. In that case, let's get started. Nura Rikushung took out the magic sword Qian Dao from his body, a knife full of cracks. Master Bishaman, that weapon of his has a very powerful demonic energy. It looks like a dead thing but it is like a living thing. 
I guess the broken blade has the power to decompose and reorganize the fragments, just like a divine weapon. Megama is a cherry blossom shaped earring. It has long been promoted from a sacred weapon to a Taoist weapon. It is more advanced than a sacred weapon. It is not a weapon but can assist Bishaman in tracking enemies or seeing through dangerous objects. It is also good at guiding other sacred weapons to perform, produce maximum combat effectiveness. He could see the attributes and capabilities of the demonic thousand blades at a glance. After all, only a few gods could possess the blessing weapon. It's interesting. I don't know where he got this weapon from, but it doesn't matter. I have these artifacts like yours. He won't be my opponent. Come on. Bishaman shouted loudly, pulled out a long whip from his waist, swung it hard, and whipped Nura Raikua with a snap. Thousand blades of the demon sword. Nura Rikushung calmly looked at the whip in front of him. The thousand blade magic knife in his hand emitted purple light, and then the blade instantly shattered into pieces. Under the control of Nura Rikushung, the fragmented knife seemed to be alive and moved forward towards the whip. The fragments came to the whip. Dozens of fragments resisted the impact of the whip. The remaining fragments rotated at high speed and cut the whip body. The impact force also deflected the direction of the whip and flew away from Nura Raikuo's right side, past. Tisk. Bishaman turned and pulled his right hand, and the deflected whip turned again and struck from behind Nura Raikuo, but Nura Raikuo didn't even look at it, and the thousand pieces of the magic sword fragments met the whip again. This whip is a sacred weapon. And Nura Raikuo's sword is a real magic sword. I didn't expect that knife to be quite tough. Bishaman thought that his whip would be blocked by the fox demon, but unexpectedly it was blocked by Yangmo's strange sword. Spot. Nura Raikuo called Madara, and Madara immediately understood. The demonic power around his body was released, forming a hurricane, and the whip was blown away. Nura Raikuo controlled the fragments to return to the blade, and Madara's hooves rushed in the air, with super speed. Rushing towards Bishaman at such a speed. So fast. Lion Heba looked at Madara in surprise. He couldn't match this speed at all. Bishaman said calmly. Don't panic, that demon fox is the demon king, and with such strength, you can expect it. Hubba nodded and said, yes, miss. Call out. Madara is about to arrive in an instant, and Nura Raikuo jumps out from Madara's body with the magic sword thousand blades in his hand, slashing straight at Bishaman's tenman gate. Bishaman's face was expressionless, and he swung his right hand, whipping towards Nura Rikushung in an instant. Wow! The whip hit Nura Rikushung, but the next second, the whip penetrated Nura Rikushung's body. Jalma shouted loudly, Master Bishaman, be careful, this is the fear of the slippery ghost, he himself must be nearby. Det. Bishaman felt something coming from behind him and jumped up from the lion. Nura Raikuo appeared behind where Bishaman was just now. He looked up and flicked the handle of the demonic sword Thousand Blades, and the purple fragments flew at extremely fast speeds. Chase. Bishaman stood in midair and swung his whip at high speed. The whip's shadow was heavy, forming an absolute defense with her as the center, and none of the field fragments could break through. But this is not a solution. Even if the fragments are blown away, they will still continue to pounce, which is really troublesome. Nura Raikuo's figure slowly rose to the level of Bishaman, and the magic sword fragments returned. Miss. Seeing this, Yuba wanted to fly back to Bishaman, but as soon as he moved, he was easily slapped away by Madara. Kitten, stay out of the way. Madara said disdainfully that to him, this lion artifact was just a fish not only in terms of size, but also in terms of strength. Without Bishaman beside the lion, he could be knocked away with a slap and lose the ability to participate in the battle. Kyun Ba. Bishaman looked at Kunba who was knocked to the ground by Madara and was vomiting blood and recovering. He gritted his teeth and said, I really underestimate you, but you will still be defeated. Everyone can tell lies well, Bishaman, let me show you my strength. Nuliang Lusheng put away the magic sword Chindian and turned on the karma fire. The blue karma fire ignited from Nuliang Lansheng and continued to spread to the surroundings. The clouds in the sky were evaporated by the blue karma fire and half of the sky was covered with blue. Covered in flames. Bishaman frowned, what kind of fire is this? Blue flames are not hard to see, but this is the first time I've seen such a powerful flame. Zhao Ma, can you tell anything? Zhao Ma said, 
This, this flame, Lord Bishaman, you must be careful. I can't see through what kind of flame this is, but there is no doubt that this flame is very powerful. As far as I know, there is no fire that can match this flame. Haha, ha, where did this kid get so many weird abilities? Bishaman twitched the corner of his mouth. First he was followed by the demon king, then he took out an extremely weird magic sword, and now it was the blue fire that even Jauma thought was dangerous. Although it was worse than the demon king, it was judging from the ability displayed, he indeed underestimated his opponent. Originally, Bishaman thought he was sure of victory in this battle, but he didn't expect it to be so tricky. If he lost, he would really become this brat's woman. Thinking of this, Bishaman took a deep breath and then called out the name of a divine weapon. A sacred weapon far away in Takamagahara was called by Bishaman's name, and it appeared directly in Bishaman's hands in the form of a sacred weapon. This was a single-edged sword, about two meters long. Bishaman put away his whip and carried the sword on his body. Drink. Bishaman roared angrily and rushed towards Nura Raikuo. Nuliang Lusheng stood in the sky, the flames behind him converged slightly. Nuliang Lusheng crossed his arms in front of him to gather the power of karma fire, and immediately moved his body forward. Suddenly, the blue karma fire formed a fire tens of meters wide, covering the sky and the earth. Flock to Bishaman. Bishaman slashed out the big sword without hesitation, and the resulting slash cut down the karmic fire. However, to Bishaman's surprise, the flame, like the magic sword, seemed to have life. The incision came back with a quick stitch. Not good. Bishaman dodges according to the position given by Zhao Ma, and wants to use the blind spot to get close to Nura Raikuo. As long as he can get close to Nura Raikuo, it will be much easier to fight. Zhao Ma was also very difficult and impatient. He said, No, Lord Bishaman, the flame used by Nura Raikuo has no flaws, there is no dead angle at all, we can't get close. If there is no flaw, then create a flaw. We must not go on like this. Bishaman held the giant sword with both hands and kept approaching Nura Raikuo against the fire. Lord Bishaman, it's so hot, so hot. The Cha Chi screamed in pain. Even if it became a divine weapon, it still felt pain and was constantly burned by the fire. Even the great sword with higher defense could not bear it. Bishaman could feel the boundless heat even if he did not come into direct contact with the flame, and it was indeed unbearable to chop the flame with the Cha Chi. She looked at the sword blade, which was a little hot and melted, and said, Zuki, hold on a little longer. A completely melee Valkyrie. Then you are in trouble, meeting me, the king of magic. Nura Raikuo is not very good at melee, but he has powerful long-range skills. The thousand blades of the demon sword can be close or far, the hellfire is long-range, and the king's treasure house is also long-range. He naturally has an advantage against melee fighters. I didn't expect Raikuo's hellfire to be so powerful. Even the Valkyrie was caught off guard. I don't know how to deal with it. Madara sat in the void and looked at the large piece of blue flame in front of him. It was the first time he saw Nura Raikuo at full fire, and it was so powerful. And this flame doesn't consume much demon power, such an outrageous way of releasing it, and it seems that Nura Raikuo is still at ease, not worried about overdrawing. You have struggled for so long, you have worked hard, then I should go all out. Quote. Nura Raikuo looked at the fire that was about to reach him with the big sword, he grinned, swung his right hand, and the fire surrounded Bishaman from both sides. Bishaman immediately rose up when he saw this. Although she still had weapons on her body, these weapons were useless against the flames without substance. Bishaman, take it. Nura Raikuo raised his right hand and then waved it down. Countless blue fireballs fell from the sky above Bishaman, like a blue meteor shower, very spectacular. However, Bishaman had no time to think about anything extra. Looking up, the sky was full of blue fireballs, which turned the whole sky blue. She was stunned. What a joke, how can this be done? Bishaman had no time to think about it, and hurriedly swung his sword to resist, but there were too many and too dense. Even with Zhao Ma's reminder, it was useless because his body could not keep up. He soon endured more than a dozen fireballs formed by the law of fire. Even with the battle suit transformed from the artifact on his body, he still couldn't bear it. Tisk tisk, this is the joy of being a mage. I didn't realize that I was so strong. 
Nura Raikua looked at Bishaman who was constantly attacked by the fireballs. He felt that he had underestimated his own strength. Now the king's treasure has not been used yet, and the strongest Valkyrie is about to fail. Sure enough, this fire is also very easy to use. According to the system, the fire is the strongest flame in another world. It does not consume much energy when used. Not to mention burning the whole country, it is more than enough to burn a city. Sister. Lord Bishaman. Bishaman's artifacts were extremely worried. They were afraid that they would be defeated. Once defeated, Bishaman would become Nero Raikuo's woman, and they couldn't accept it just thinking about it. Bishaman is their master, a god who has lived for thousands of years. This time he will fall into the mortal world and become a monster woman. This is simply unimaginable. Hateful. Bishaman was also very unwilling, but just these continuous fireballs left her too busy to care. She, the strongest Valkyrie, was going to lose to a slippery ghost monster. This was hard for her to accept. Normally, she would lose. It was defeated. But now she has an identity contract. Once she loses the battle, she will become a slave. At that time, I thought that it would be effortless to deal with a half-demon hand, even if the opponent had a demon king to help him, but I didn't expect that it would be like this. The demon king didn't even make a move, and she was already captured by Nu Liang. It's really a shame that Lu Sheng was completely suppressed by one person. The fireballs kept hitting Bishaman, and the powerful scorching flames not only caused Bishaman, but also Shoba, the artifact she wore on her body, to suffer unspeakably. A moment of fireball hit Bishaman on the back, causing him to vomit a mouthful of blood, and Shoba also screamed. Bishaman's shoulders were rising and falling, and she was breathing heavily. Not only was she tired from resisting, but she was also hurt from the attack. Just when Bishaman was about to be unable to hold on any longer, Nura Rikushung stopped her hand. She dispersed all the power of karmic fire and looked at the embarrassed Bishaman in front of her. Bishamontan, is it just that this level is no longer enough? It seems that the title of the strongest Valkyrie is nothing more than this. Just admit defeat. You are no match for me. If you don't admit defeat, then I will start my third wave. Attacked. As he said that, Nura Raikuo opened the golden ripple doors one after another. More than a hundred doors were opened at once, and a weapon appeared on each door, with all kinds of weapons. Don't, don't ask me to admit defeat. I am Bishamontan. Here, there is no admittance, only defeat. Although Bishaman is very tired, she is still holding on. As a Valkyrie, it is the most shameful thing to admit defeat. There are only defeated gods, not gods who admit defeat. She looked at the series of dazzling golden doors behind Nura Rikushung, and was very confused about how he had so many weird abilities. If he were an ordinary slick guy, she would not lose, but the problem is that this guy is not an ordinary slick guy at all. Ghost, the tricks used are unheard of, so alien. Really. Then don't blame me for being rude, so I locked it up. Nura Raikuo raised his arm, and several golden doors appeared simultaneously in the four directions of Bishaman's front, back, left, and right, and then golden chains flew out from the doors. Bishaman wanted to avoid it, but there were so many that there was nowhere to hide, and he was entangled by a chain. After the hand was restrained, other chains also locked other hands and feet, and the last chain passed around Bishaman's neck from behind to strangle him. Ah, what kind of chain is this? I can't break free at all. Bishaman is tightly controlled by chains. As a god, even the chains transformed from artifacts may not be able to completely control her, but this chain makes her unable to move. Control is tight. Stop struggling, Bishaman. This chain is called the Lock of Heaven. It's a divine treasure. The stronger the god's power, the harder it is to break free of the Lock of Heaven. As the strongest Valkyrie, you naturally have divine power. Needless to say, it's useless to struggle. Perhaps the gods in this world are different in strength and use of divine power from the gods in other worlds, but as long as they are gods, they must have divine power, there is no doubt about this. A weapon designed specifically to deal with gods. Bishamontan was greatly surprised. Why did Nura Raikuo have weapons against gods in his hands? But this is not what she should consider now. The shackles of the Skylock made it impossible for Bishaman to break free, and his physical strength was gradually exhausted. He no longer had the strength to hold the heavy sword in his hand and let it fall. Since you are not going to admit defeat, 
then I will give you a more decent way to lose. After all, you will be my woman from now on, and you can only take care of your own woman. Nura Raikuo dispersed the king's treasure behind him and came to Bishaman. The binding posture was good, but there were various burns on his body, which somewhat ruined the appearance. Nura Raikuo waved his hand, and the heavenly lock wrapped around Bishaman's neck was retracted. Before Bishaman could say anything, Nura Raikuo's hand wrapped with black fear slashed at the back of his neck with his sword. Bishaman felt a pain in the back of his neck, his vision went dark and he fainted. Hey, hey, Lu Sheng, I didn't expect you to be so powerful. The blue flame that burned half of the sky was so powerful that even the Valkyrie couldn't resist it. There seems to be even more powerful tricks after that. Compared with you, I, the Demon King, seem like it's fake, except for the strong demon power, there is nothing that can be done about it. Madara came to Nura Raikuo in depression. Nura Raikuo's fighting power was completely beyond his expectation. Compared with his powerful ability, Madara felt that he was a blank slate demon king. Apart from his demon power at the demon king level, and his extremely sharp claws and teeth, he has no stronger abilities. On the other hand, Nura Raikuo is obviously just a demon commander. Not only does he have powerful weapons, but he also has flames, chains, etc. I envy him. You don't have to belittle yourself, because I am the only outstanding demon like me in this world. You don't have to compare yourself with me and leave. Nura Raikuo picked up the unconscious Bishaman and sat on Madara and returned to the Nura group. Because Bishamontan has made an oath that if he loses to Nura Raikuo, he will become his woman. Now that Bishamontan has been defeated, she will naturally become his woman. Isn't it only natural to carry his own woman home? Although Bishamontan is a god, the gods here are indeed not strong according to Nura Raikuo. They mainly focus on realizing human wishes. After all, these gods are born from the wishes of human beings. Although it is controlled by the will of heaven and earth, it is quite free. Even if you kill someone, no other gods will control you. Of course, the prerequisite for killing is that you have your own reasons to kill, rather than killing people randomly. Killing people randomly will lead to becoming a demon. Harm the world. As for the artifacts equipped by Bishaman, they were all affected and became unresponsive when Bishaman was unconscious. It was not too late at this time, it was only about 7 o'clock, and the monsters of the Nurugumi family were eating in the cafeteria. In the large cafeteria, Nura Watai, the general, is sitting at the main seat. Close to him are the veteran cadres who are stationed in the Nura group, such as Ushiki, Ichimoku, Bodhidharma, Krotengu, and the faction leader Yu. The ones at the bottom are Sumo and others who are close friends with Nura Raikuo, and then there are the various monsters of the family. Because there are not many rules in the Nura group, the monsters talk freely, drink, chat and spank. The whole cafeteria is very lively, and every night is like a party. Where's Lu Sheng? Why hasn't this brat come back yet? After drinking a bowl of wine, Nura Wagwa looked at the empty seat next to him. Originally, this was where Nura Lusheng was sitting, but there was no one there yet. The burly man with only one eye took a sip of wine and laughed. Ha ha ha, maybe the young master has kidnapped a woman again. This time, our third generation general will be better than you, the first generation general. There are two generations who are very ambitious and know how to spread the branches and leaves of the Nuliang family. Kro Tengu's tear glands were well developed, and tears gushed out from his eyes. Yes, commander in chief, the young master has grown up. Not only did he accept the woman you appointed, commander in chief, but he also brought back Amiko who he liked. When the time comes, our slaves will the good group will surely prosper, and with more young newly who inherit the bloodline of the general slippery, they may be able to dominate the country's monster organization. New Liang Hua Piao curled his lips and said, Oh, he and I are of the same mind. This kid is fine, but this is also a good thing. It is a pity that there is no way to combine with a real monster to give birth to a pure monster blood. Speaking of this, the demon suddenly became silent. Niu Gui held the wine glass and said, 400 years ago, the Yuya Fox set a curse on the bloodline of the general. All the bloodlines of the slick ghosts will not be able to combine with monsters to give birth to children. This is it is extremely hateful to want the blood of the slippery ghost to be combined with that of humans, and ultimately to completely grind away the slippery ghost's bloodline. 
Forget it, don't mention this matter. Children and grandchildren will have their own blessings. Drink. Nu Liang Hua Liao is also a little depressed. The curse of the Yu Yi Fox has always existed in the bloodline of the Slick Ghost. Because the Ha Yi Fox was the Great Demon King back then, even Nu Liang Hu Lao couldn't break the curse of the Great Demon King. Therefore, there are Nura Raikuse, and their bloodline is cursed. They can only give birth to children with humans. Even if they are combined with monsters, they cannot leave any heirs. Lu Sheng is back. Nura Haleao suddenly noticed that a huge demonic energy was gradually approaching the Nuraang group, and this demonic aura was also mixed with Nurari Raikuo's demonic aura. He immediately understood that this was the return of Nurari Raikuo. As for the huge monster, it was naturally the cat-like monster next to Raikuo Nurao. Raikuo Nurao had already told Nura Washao about this, but no one else knew about it. What a strong evil spirit, enemy attack. All the demons present looked shocked. This demonic aura was far stronger than them, and they didn't know where it came from. Nu Liang Hua Lao shouted loudly and said, Don't panic, this is Lu Sheng coming back. What? Give birth to the young master. How could master Lu Sheng have such a strong demonic aura? It shouldn't be possible. No, if you feel carefully, there are two demonic auras. One is the young masters, and the other is a stronger demonic aura that is unknown. While the monsters were discussing, Madara had already arrived at the door of the main cafeteria. Because of his large size, it was difficult to enter. After Nura Raikuo got off Madara, he carried Bishaman on his right shoulder, and Madara smelled the smell of wine and food, and drool could not help but flow from the corner of his mouth, ejection started and went straight to the cafeteria. This is Madara. That huge demonic energy just now turned out to be Madara. Oh my god, isn't it a cat? That was its true form just now. What is Madara's origin? Not only Ching Tianfang and the others, but even the big cadres at Ichimoku were dumbfounded. Even Madara's demonic aura made them feel a huge pressure. You must know that although they haven't done anything for hundreds of years and their bodies have become a lot rusty, they are still handsome and demonic. It can make them all feel great pressure. This is something that only the demon king can do. In other words, this cat is a demon king. Crow Tengu exclaimed, wait a minute, look at the person the young master is carrying, does he look familiar? Niu Gui looked up and stood up immediately. This was more than familiar, it was too familiar. After all, this woman had injured him just yesterday. If the general had not appeared in time, he would have had to lie down for a while. Bishamantan. Ichimoku was shocked. This was the strongest Valkyrie. In a one-on-one -on -one fight, no one except the general could be her opponent. If the general was not injured, he could still deal with her, but in his current state, the general's strength is only that of the demon king, and Bishamantan's strength can defeat even the demon king. Bishamantan. The strongest Valkyrie. Oh my god, why was the young master carrying the strongest Valkyrie back? She looked injured. Who could have injured the Valkyrie? Shugo walked up and looked at Nuliang Rikusheng up and down without worry, and asked, Young master, are you not injured? The first time I looked at Nuliang, he grew up in the land, and the second generation also entrusted Raikuo Nurao to take care of him. In addition, he also drank sworn wine with Raikuo Nurao, and he had already officially become a yukai under Raikuo Nurao. Therefore, even if he himself was injured, he could not see Nuliang Lusheng being injured. Young master, what is going on? Why was Bishamantan carried back by the young master? As the cronies of Nuliang Raikuo, Ching Tianfang, Kurodafang, Mao Prostitute, and Kappa all surrounded him, fearing that their future commander-in-chief would be harmed. Seeing the worried expressions of the demons, Nuliang Lusheng felt warm in his heart, and he said, Don't worry, I'm fine. Lu Sheng, what's going on? Why did you come back with Bishamantan on your back? Please explain. Nuliang Hua Lao walked out of his seat with surprise in his eyes. He didn't know what they had experienced. Nura Rikusheng turned to look at the unconscious Bishamantan and said, I was just about to tell you, didn't Bishamant kill a few monsters in my group and hurt a cow ghost? How can I say it? It was because of me that I just challenged Bishaman and made a bet. If Bishaman loses, she will become my woman. If I lose, I will let Bishaman do whatever he wants. The result is obvious. And easy to see. Quote. Nura Raikuo simply explained the situation in one breath without much pause or opportunity for anyone to interrupt. 
Deaf. After Nura Rikusheng finished speaking, Nura Washung took the lead and took a breath of cold air. Hearing Nura Rikusheng say it was easy, but in fact it was not easy at all. However, looking at Nura Rikusheng's body, there was no mess at all, and she looked very relaxed. How on earth did she defeat the Valkyrie? Ha ha, ha 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 ha, you are worthy of being my grandson, Lu Sheng. You kid was able to defeat the Valkyrie Bishamontan and bring him back. By the way, did you let Bishamontan make a vow before the fight so that she won't regret it? Of course, she has already made a vow. Nura Walau couldn't be too happy. His grandson actually defeated the strongest Valkyrie, and even vowed to become Nura Rokusheng's woman after being defeated. That means he also has a woman. The real god is Mrs. Sun. If she goes out and meets an old Qian's acquaintance and talks about it, it will be doubly honorable. The most honorable thing is not having a god as his grandson-in-law, but his grandson who can defeat the strongest Valkyrie. Unexpectedly, this kid is better than his master. Putting aside the demon power, his fighting strength is stronger than his first-generation general and second-generation general. After Nura Raikuo succeeds to the throne, he will become the strongest general in history. In other words, this most powerful Valkyrie will also be the wife of our third-generation general. Wow, young master, you are so powerful. Na Xiaozang really admires you. The eyes of the Nato thief release the radiance of worship. You must know that this is a god, and not just an ordinary god. She is the strongest Valkyrie, known for her powerful strength, Sigui. The future Sha mentioned here is the young master's woman. Niu Gui, who had always been calm and composed, felt that this was fake. He had never heard of a god becoming the wife of someone other than a god before. It simply broke the worldview he knew. You know, this Bishamontan has been around longer than their general, Nirawatai. Okay, I won't say any more nonsense. From now on, Bishamontan will be my wife, and all the previous matters have been wiped out. Please come over and help her treat her. Nura Raikuo looked at the pigeon on his left and found that he was still in shock. Seeing that Jen didn't respond, a little demon on the side tugged on his sleeve. Only then did Jen come back to his senses and said blankly, Ah, oh oh, okay. Ju's poison and medical skills are very good, and he is the best in the entire Nura group. The reason why Nura Raikuo didn't go back to his room directly was mainly to find Ju, Shun. Please inform me about Bishamontan becoming his wife. Roasted now followed Nura Raikuo towards his room in a trance. Looking at the figure in front of him who was no shorter than himself, he recalled that many years ago, this man was still following him and calling him, brother. Now he suddenly realized that he had become a slave. The backbone of the good team. Lu Sheng, I heard that you captured a god. Nuru Wakana, along with Beigai and Linlindi and Kikio, trotted after them. Mom, your news is quick. Nuru Rikusheng looked at the three people trotting over. Nuru Wakana and the three people had a separate dining room, which was where they ate in the morning. They did not eat in the cafeteria with those big guys. Just now, a little monster came quickly to report what happened after Nura Rikusheng came back, and then the three of them came over. Is that the Valkyrie you are carrying, Bishamontan? Nura Wakana came to the unconscious Bishamontan, squatted down and raised his head to take a closer look at the legendary god. Nura Wakana smiled gently and said, Ah, oh, what a beautiful sleeping beauty. Unfortunately, she is injured now. Lu Sheng, I, please go and treat her quickly. Nura Rikusheng said to Beigui and Linlindi and Kikio, Okay, you guys can come together too. When he noticed Kikio's eyes, Nura Rikusheng looked calm, but felt a little embarrassed inside. After all, he just brought her back last night, and today he brought a god back. Even he felt a little scumbag, and he didn't know what the other person was thinking. Nura Wakana seemed to see something, waved her hand and said, then you can have a good exchange of feelings, and I won't disturb you anymore. Nura Rikusheng returned to his room, placed Bishaman on his bed, and then said, Xiao, you helped her treat it first. Good. Without saying a word, Bishaman sat down cross-legged and took out his healing feathers and medicine. All Bishaman suffered were skin injuries. It would definitely not be difficult with his treatment methods. Valkyrie. Beigai and Rinlindi looked at Bishaman who was lying on the bed. This was the first time she saw a god, but he didn't look much different from a human being. 
In addition to being very beautiful, he didn't have three heads and six arms. He could also get injured. Will faint. During the treatment, Nura Rikusheng looked at Kikio aside and said, Would you like to go on a date tomorrow, Linlindy, you too, let's enhance our relationship, how about? I'm okay. Baigui Yuan Linlindy crossed her arms, tomorrow is Saturday, so she has time. And when she heard that Riku Nura said he wanted to go on a date, she was also very much looking forward to it 243. Sister Platakoden, there's nothing wrong with you, right? Baigui Yuan Linlindy looked at Kikio. She was a little short, and there was some distance between her and Kikio's height of 1.7 meters. Kikio didn't think much about it and nodded. She lived in the Warring States period, so she could understand, and because of her status as Nura Rikusheng, it was even more so. In addition, she, Kikio, was not a woman who wandered around. Since she admitted that she liked Nura Riku if he is born, then he will be identified. But she is a traditional woman. She never thought she would like someone in the past. Now that she has someone she likes, as long as Nulianglu never abandons her, she will be with him life and death. Even Raikuo Nuliang, who thought he knew something about Kikio, didn't know how determined Kikio was at this moment. Such a flirtation by Nura Raikuo may seem like a whim to Kikio, but Kikio himself will spend the rest of his life with her. However, Nura Raikuo is not just flirting, he also takes his own responsibility, being affectionate but not incestuous. Kikio looked at the sleeping Bishaman and said, Rikusheng, you won this god Bishamantan through a bet. When she recovers, will she not admit it and rebel? Nura Rikusheng chuckled and said, You don't have to worry about this. Even if she resists, since I can defeat her the first time, I can win the second time, and she has sworn to become my woman after losing to me. She has sworn for ordinary people, it is just a form and has no effect, but for the gods, it is really useful. Once the gods break the contract, both body and soul will be destroyed. Quote. Baigui Yuan Linlindi was confused, is swearing useful to gods? Then why would she swear an oath? It's fine even if she doesn't make a bet with you. Kikio explained for Raikuo Raikuo, as a god, he naturally has his own arrogance. What's more, Bishaman himself is a god of war who was born for fighting. He underestimated Raikuo and didn't think he would lose. This is careless. The price was paid for by myself. Nura Rikusheng took Kikio's hand and squeezed the smooth little hand, saying, What Kikio said is right, she just underestimated me and ended up like this. Beigai and Linlindi covered her mouth and said with a smile, The strongest Valkyrie, a goddess in the true sense, would have been unattainable before, but in the future she will be treated as a sister to us, I feel that it's somewhat exciting, will Lu Sheng find it more exciting? Nura Rikusheng confessed, I feel a little excited. She is a real Valkyrie after all. While the three of them were chatting, half an hour passed. He then wiped the sweat that had begun to appear on his forehead, turned to Nura Rikusheng beside him and said, Young master, I have almost treated Bishaman's injuries. Okay, you should wake up in a while. As expected of a poisonous person, he is really powerful. Nura Rikusheng stepped forward and patted you on the shoulder. If you is here, even if he steps into the gate of hell, he can bring you back as long as you are not dead. He is a powerful monster with strong medical skills. After being praised by Nuliang Lusheng, Jen raised his head proudly and said, That's right, after all, our Jen faction does not rely on force, but relies on medical skills that can save monsters. I don't know how many big shots of monsters want to recruit us, okay well, I'll leave first. You should be careful. After all, this kind of god is not easy to get along with. Thank you, Jen. I'll meet you for a drink next time. Then I'll wait. Three minutes after Bishaman left, Bishaman groaned while lying on the bed, and then slowly opened his eyes. Unfamiliar ceiling, what am I? Bishaman didn't realize where he was for a moment. Hey, Bishaman, wake up. When Bishamantan heard the sound, she turned her head and looked at the face that made her suffer greatly. She immediately straightened up her upper body while lying on the bed. Nura Raikuo. When he first woke up, he thought that being defeated was just a dream, but now seeing Riku Nura's face, Bishamantan was instantly pulled from fantasy to reality. Bishamantan put her arms on her forehead with a headache. When she thought of the bed and oath she had made, she wanted to slap herself twice. But now the oath has completely bound her. 
If she disobeys it, she will only die, and it will be destroyed in ashes. Even if her soul and body die due to other reasons, this oath will still be valid for her as long as the Valkyrie Bishamontan is born again. It can be said that Bishamontan has been completely tied to Nura Raikuo. This is the price for her losing the bet. Even if she dies normally, it will affect the next generation. Nura Rikushung sat cross-legged on his right side and said, From now on, you are my woman, Bishaman. Bishaman took a deep breath, and then looked at Nura Rikushung, who had already accepted the result, and said, I, Bishaman, naturally do what I say, not to mention that I am bound by an oath, so you don't have to worry about this. Sister. After Bishaman woke up, her artifact also gradually woke up. After understanding what was going on, everyone panicked. The invincible female war goddess in their hearts was defeated, and she had to fulfill her oath and became a monster woman. This is so crazy that there has never been any precedent in history. Lord Bishaman. Bishamont wore the cherry blossom earring on his right ear, and Zuchi Jauma felt cold all over. Not only did he suffer defeat this time, but even Bishamont and lost himself. And this is also the fault of their artifacts, especially those that are already very rare blessing artifacts, but they still failed to guide Bishamontan to win the battle, causing Bishamontan to lose its free zone and making Yuma feel deep despair. Bishaman said to her artifacts, I'm fine. This is also my own decision. From now on, I declare that Nura Raikuo is my husband. I will not be rude to him in the future. Do you remember it? Bishaman accepted it quickly, because she is a god of war and she always handles things decisively and boldly, instead of being coy like a little girl. Since things have already happened, there is no point in regretting them. It would be better to accept them more happily. Gods do not prohibit love and marriage. After all, gods are also creatures with seven emotions and six desires. Like humans, they also have times of loneliness and emptiness. It is difficult to have children. Among so many pairs of gods, only a few pairs have children. This is still after hundreds of years of hard work. In Takamagahara, there are many gods who fall in love with each other and marry each other, so Bishaman has no burden. Nura Rikushung nodded with satisfaction. Oh, are you lecturing the artifact? She does have the demeanor of a female war goddess. She is willing to admit defeat. I like it. Let me introduce you. The shrine maiden on my right is called Kikyo and the one on the left is its Beiguyuan Linlindi, the atavistic demon, they are all my women, you are the third one. Bishaman glanced at the Platakoden and Shirogian Rindi on the left and right sides of Nura Raikuo. These two were very outstanding in appearance and had different temperaments. In response, Bishaman nodded. I understand, no matter how many women you have in the future, I, Bishaman, won't mind. As a god, she still has this kind of tolerance, and she really doesn't care, because the reason why she became Nuliang Lusheng was purely a bet and an oath. Well, I also mentioned in the contract that you respect me. Of course, I won't let you do anything embarrassing, because you are mine, but I still have to make some demands on you. I like to be exclusive. Bishaman, you are not allowed to get too close to other men in the future. Even if it is a sacred weapon, that earring is a male sacred weapon. It will work just as well if you take it out of his ear and nail it to his clothes. For the time being, that's all. Quote. When Bishaman heard this, he looked at the cherry blossom nails on Lu's ears out of the corner of his eye. He didn't say anything, but took action directly without any hesitation. Jauma. Bishaman called out the omen's name, Oma, and the artifact-shaped cherry blossom nail flashed white and turned into a man in military uniform standing aside. Lord Bishaman. After Jauma called Bishaman, he looked at Nuliang Lusheng with Yuanduo's eyes. Jauma has been with Bishaman for hundreds of years. Although he is a sacred weapon, men and women are different, and there is a certain distance between them, Bishaman is his master, a noble and indestructible god. Now he can see it with his own eyes. Her sacred master Bishamontan was forced to become Nura Raikuo's woman, how could he not be angry? The thoughts in Jauma's heart were felt by Bishaman, because some bad thoughts of the artifact will be transmitted to the god who is the owner and hurt the owner. Bishaman frowned and said, Zhao Ma, I know you are not willing to give in, but there is nothing you can say if your skills are not as good as others. From today on, you will just cling to the clothes and you can still show me the way. Beigai and Linlindi looked at Jauma expressionlessly, and said, 
Bishamantan, your artifact seems to have a lot of objections to the young master Lu Shang. Could it be that he has some special thoughts about you? If you were defeated alone, you wouldn't be able to show such a look. Upon hearing this, Zhao Ma immediately lowered his head, not daring to show any dissatisfaction. Bishaman said calmly, Miss Linlindy is joking. Although Zhao Ma and other artifacts are my artifacts, I also regard them as family members. There has never been any emotion between us that goes beyond family. To say the least, take a step back. Even if Zhao Ma had that intention, it was impossible before and it will be even more impossible in the future, so you can rest assured. Quote. After Bishaman finished speaking, she looked at Nura Rikushan. She also said this to Nura Rikushan. Nura Rikushan nodded, that's good, Kikio and Linlindy, you can go out first. I also want to say something to Bishaman. Good. Of course there was nothing wrong with Kikio and Beigai and Linlindy, so they got up and left. Xiaoba, Jingba, Chuba, Kiba, Shuba. Bishaman summoned her one after another, and all the artifacts on her body changed back to human appearance. Bishaman didn't have any artifacts on her body at this time, and even the previous battle suit was equipped by the girl god Shoba. After Shaoba was dismissed, the leather jacket disappeared and turned back into a military uniform with black as the main component and red as the supplement. These were her own clothes. The military uniform was even more heroic. She was indeed a Valkyrie who was known as a god in battle. Lord Bishaman, Sister, Miss. The names of the several artifacts are somewhat different, and they all call Bishaman according to their truest thoughts. Bishaman looked at the artifacts in front of him and said softly, Well, you guys, and Jauma, go back to Takamagahara first. I'll stay here for the time being, so you don't have to wait for me. What? Zhou Shaman Tianren. Is it possible that you want this? The artifacts looked at a loss. The meaning of Bishaman's words was very clear, that's why they were so anxious. As the strongest Valkyrie, Bishaman Sama actually wanted to. Bishaman waved his hand and said, No need to say anything else, let's all go back, I've made up my mind. The artifacts looked at each other, then finally showed a bitter smile and turned around silently to leave. Bishaman got up from Nura Raikuo's bed. Seeing that Zhao Ma was still here, he said in a more serious tone, Jauma, you too, get out of here. Yes. Dot yes, Lord Bishaman. Zhao Ma clenched her fists, but in the end she still didn't dare to refute Bishaman. Nura Rikusheng looked at Bishaman and said unexpectedly, it seems that you have become enlightened, Bishaman. Bishaman turned around and closed his eyes and said, I'm willing to admit defeat. If you want, you can start at any time. Don't worry, I haven't committed myself to anyone else. A generation of Valkyrie, she is still pure and flawless. Nura Raikuo looked at Bishaman's tall back and felt a little excited in his heart. After all, this was a real god. It's still early, so there's no rush. It's not even 8 o'clock in the evening now, and it would be awkward if someone came to see me in the middle of the night, so I'd better wait a few hours and have in-depth exchanges in the dead of night when people are quieter. Nura Raikuo himself said before that he needs to cultivate emotional unity and communication with his woman. But Bishamantan was different. If he wanted to cultivate a relationship with this thousand-year-old monster, his handsome appearance would not have much effect. God knows how long it will take to melt her iron ambition that has existed for hundreds or thousands of years. Nura Raikuo doesn't have that long of patience. It may be easier to take the first step and then slowly develop feelings. After all, there are no absolutes in things. It is best to learn to differ from person to person, teach students in accordance with their aptitude, and adapt measures to local conditions. You will not survive long if you are stubborn. Bishaman turned around and stared at Nura Rikushung with his purple pupils, and Nura Rikushung was not timid at all because he was a god. After staring at each other for nearly a minute, Bishaman was defeated first. She exhaled and said, can I know what kind of flame you used to deal with me? I found it extremely difficult to deal with it. Since Bishaman wanted to know, Nura Rikushung didn't hide anything. He said, it doesn't hurt to tell you. Karma fire, the strongest fire in the world, can burn all things. As a god, haven't you already felt it? I am not merciful, you have been burned to ashes. Bishamantan held his forehead and laughed at himself. Indeed, I was defeated by a fire. It is really shameful. The strongest fire in the world, 
karma fire, is indeed worthy of the name of the strongest. Seeing what Bishaman wanted to ask, Nura Raikuo interrupted, let's talk about abilities later. Tell me about you first. You are mine now, and it is necessary to understand your past. What I want is not just to have fun, but also to truly understand you, accept you from the bottom of my heart, and give you my sincerity and care. Bishaman, you have been bound to me and will be with me for the rest of my life, so I hope you can also show your sincerity, not just because of the oath, which is an emotionless prop, so that we can understand each other. Accepting each other is what makes a real family. Quote. After finishing speaking, Nura Rikushung waited for Bishaman's reply. Bishaman, on the other hand, could tell that what he said to Nura Raikua was sincere. After Bishaman was silent for five seconds, he showed a smile to Nura Raikuo for the first time. The fact that you have this idea is enough to show that you are not the kind of scum who only likes to get women's bodies. I am very happy. Since you have said so, I will also speak out. I have lived for nearly a thousand years and I have never thought that I would like others or even marry others. Because I am a god who was born as a god of war. I believe that I cannot lose to anyone. But now I have lost to you, and I promise to become your woman. I will try hard to accept you. As you said, we will work together. If you live a long life, you should really pay for the other person, not just a prop when you want it. This way, you and I will be tired. Now, I will tell you my own experience. It may be very long, Mr. Lu, are you willing to listen? Nura Rikushung stretched out his right hand and said, You probably didn't have anyone you could really talk to before. Now I'll treat you as your listener. Bishaman glanced at Nura Raikuo's hand, stretched out his hand that had killed countless filthy people, and placed it in Nura Raikuo's palm. An incredible mood emerged in his heart. This feeling seemed to be unprecedentedly peaceful. Um. Bishaman nodded and smiled. Nura Raikuo did not expect that Bishaman, who was strong at the beginning, would gradually open up to him. This made Nura Raikuo feel that this thousand-year-old monster was not what he thought. As ambitious as iron and unshakable, he also has a gentle side. I blame myself for being too eloquent. Immediately, Nura Raikuo pulled Bishamontan and sat down on his bed, just listening to Bishamontan quietly talking about her own experience. Two hours passed in a flash. Bishaman was very selfless in what he said. He was calm at first in front of Nura Raikuo, but then his behavior became more and more outrageous. Sometimes he was angry, sometimes he laughed, sometimes he was angry, and sometimes he was murderous. Teng Teng, sometimes angry and itching her teeth, just like what she said before, it is smelly and long-lasting, but Nuliang Lusheng listened to it. After coming back to his senses, Bishaman looked at Nira Rikusheng carefully and said with a hint of guilt, I'm sorry, I accidentally said too much, are you okay? Nura Rikusheng saw that Bishamontan had many expressions at this time and was no longer as serious as before. He stepped forward and wrapped his right hand around Bishamontan's head and gently leaned it against his chest. Nura Rikusheng gently stroked Bishaman's head and said while stroking, Bishaman, you have lived very tired and uncomfortable for so many years, but no matter how strong the Valkyrie is, she is still made of flesh and blood. Thank you for your hard work. Quote. Bishaman listened to the powerful heartbeat in her ears, the warm chest, and the gentle words, and she felt a surge of sourness and grievance in her heart. For a moment, her eyes became moist without even realizing it. Don't know why. But she knew that she was indeed living a very tired life, because she was a Valkyrie, and because there were so many artifacts in her family, she regarded her as a parent, but she had no affection in her eyes, only respect. She did not dare to tell the truth to her, and always gave her the most fake smile. It is shown that Bishaman feels lonely, but she cannot show any emotions. She is the backbone of the entire Sacred Gear family and can only bear it silently. But now, she felt that she didn't need to pretend or bear it at this moment, she just wanted to vent once and let the suppressed inner world be released, so Bishaman's silent tears seemed to open a valve to let herself vent at will. This was the second time she shed tears. The first time was when the Mazi clan's artifact was massacred. She only felt that she was a waste, nothing could be saved, a piece of shit Valkyrie. And now is the second time. This is the release of the pressure that has been accumulated in her heart for too long. The reason why she shed tears this time is that she feels that she is not a god of war now, but just a woman. 
Nura Raikuo held the so-called Valkyrie in his arms, patted her back gently, and sighed inwardly. The Valkyrie who seemed to be as strong as steel was actually fragile on the inside. Although she was a god, she was still a woman after all. Having endured too many unbearable things, Bishaman left Nura Rikusheng's arms, and she turned around to wipe away her tears with her hands. It's really a bit embarrassing. She was comforted by a man who only lived a fraction of her life, and she shed tears in front of him. When did she become so useless? It's not like her at all. Nura Raikuo looked at Bishaman who turned around and knew what she was thinking, so he patted her shoulder and said, don't be afraid of embarrassment, because you are my woman, Mrs. Bishaman. It's late at night and it's time to rest. Quote, I'm taking advantage of you, you half-demon. I am very proud and very excited that I can possess the body and mind of a true goddess in the body of a half-demon. HMPH, who gave you my heart. Now I only have the body. As for the heart, it depends on your behavior in the future whether you will consider giving it to you or not. Now turn off the light for me. I lost to Karma Fire before. If I can't be your match this time, I the four characters for Bishamontan are written upside down. The lights in the room were turned off, and some of the little demons outside Nura Rikusheng's house had already wisely evacuated, so as not to make any noise that would disturb the beautiful scenery. The next day, Nura Raikuo looked at the wild woman with her thighs on top of him with dark circles under his eyes and a slightly pale face. She was indeed a god, cough cough. Nuliang Lusheng kicked the sleeping woman away and said, Hey, Tianmen Shipi, the sun is up. Opening his eyes at the Bisha door, he glared at Nura Raikuo with a murderous look, What did you call me? Nuliang Lusheng said in confusion, Tianmen Shipi, who said yesterday, Woo woo woo. Bishamontan hurriedly covered Nura Rikusheng's mouth and interrupted, Okay, I'll admit defeat, you're good enough. Nuliang Lusheng said humbly, no, 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 you are still great. I will find someone to give me something tonic later. God, he is indeed a god. Bishaman gritted his teeth when he saw Nura Raikuo being so obedient after taking advantage of her. She didn't even say that her body was almost loose, so you're better off. Immediately, she ignored Nura Rikusheng, got up from the bed and put on the clothes that had fallen on the floor. Nura Rikusheng opened the quilt accidentally saw the bright red flower, and said, it turns out that the body structure of the goddess is the same as that of ordinary women. After putting on his clothes, Bishaman turned around and hummed, what if you think that gods are born from human wishes, so their appearance and body shape are naturally the same as humans. Nura Rikusheng put on the blue feather fabric, opened the door and said, I will take you to wash up first, and then meet my grandfather and mother. Your grandfather knew Liang Walao. Bishaman didn't want to see him. Although Nura Kabuto was a big monster, he was actually younger than her. He had fought with him a few times before, but now he met her as his granddaughter-in-law. Bishaman really didn't know how to deal with it, right? Nura Rikusheng thought of something before going out and said, By the way, you said last night that you felt a strong sense of guilt because of the murder of the sacred artifact Maji clan, so you kept the sacred artifact endlessly, so Shi Chong was stabbed. Plus there are so many artifacts, even if you are a god, you can't bear it. Taking medicinal baths every day can relieve it. Bishaman, now I ask you to cherish your body and don't keep unlimited artifacts, because now your body is more than just you. Even if you are hurt alone, I will feel bad for you, do you understand? Looking at Nura Rikusheng who cared about him, Bishaman felt warm in his heart, but said arrogantly, Hey, I know my body myself, so I don't need you to worry about it. Seeing Bishaman's expression, Nura Raikuo knew that she had listened. It seemed that conquering a thousand-year-old woman seemed not as difficult as I thought. However, Nura Raikuo thought it would be difficult to conquer this god. Well, it turns out that after saying a few sincere words, there is a tendency to attack. Nura Rikusheng asked, By the way, are you called Bishamontan? Do you have any other nicknames? Bishamontan is your god's name. It sounds too formal. Bishaman raised his eyes and thought for a moment, Bishaman is my true name as a god. My gods call me Bishaman Sama, eldest lady or Oni Sama. Point zero. Nura Rikusheng took Bishamantan out of his small courtyard. The little demons passing by looked at Bishaman curiously. After all, the entire Nura clan had been spreading rumors since last night that the young master had brought back a real person. 
God, and also the strongest Valkyrie, many demons present saw it. Look, look, that's the Valkyrie. She's so brave. It feels like she can kill me in one move. Yes, but don't be afraid. The young master has completely surrendered her. She is already the young master's wife and one of our young ladies, so there is no need to worry about taking action against us because the young master will teach her a lesson. The young master is so powerful. Not only can he bring back a Miko, but he can also bring back a god. Who in the entire monster world can do that? Along the way, the monsters of this family all gathered together and started talking after seeing Bishamon. Bishamonton could also hear the discussion of these monsters. She also knew about the monsters of the Nura group, and the Nura group managed the monsters very well. Let's not mention the outside ones for now, but the monsters in this family are never allowed to hurt or eat humans, and Bishamon is very satisfied with this. She turned her head and glanced at the five monsters gathered together on the left. She just showed a kind smile and scared them all away. Am I scary? Bishaman's head is full of black lines. To be frightening, it's better to be frightened by these weird monsters. Hearing this, Nura Rikushung said with a smile, Ha ha, the name of the strongest Valkyrie is not just mentioned casually, it makes people change their tempers, Bishaman, this also shows your prestige. Shang Wu, who was sweeping the floor, had his head floating on his body. When he saw the two coming out, he quickly greeted them. Young master, there are also samanas. Some little monsters don't understand etiquette, but as Nura Raikuo's trusted monsters, they still know etiquette. Bishamontan is also the most powerful female god, and even the first generation general has difficulty in dealing with it. Bishaman nodded and said, no need to be polite. Yes, Lord Bishaman. Naturally, Shuwu will not take his words seriously, but he still needs to be polite. The snow girl Bingley also came here at some point. She pouted with a depressed look on her face, but she also said politely, Young master, Lord Bishaman, get up. She was obviously the one who came first. She had arrived long before Riku Nura was born. She had been taking care of Riku Nura after he was born. As a result, the young master looked for one after another, but she was the only one. Wobian Sao didn't get any news. Nura Rikushung stepped forward and pinched Oikawa Bingre's fleshy cheek, and said, Hingre, where is my grandfather? Oikawa Hingre replied, the general is exercising in the backyard and wielding a knife. Okay, I understand, Bishaman, let's go. Nura Raikuo looked at Yuki Ono with extremely soft eyes, and then touched the top of her head. Staring at the leaving figures of Nura Raikuo and Bishaman, Oikawa Hingre kicked a stone, and the stone flew into the field like a ball. Nura Rikushung and Bishamontan came to the backyard where Nura Watai was. They saw him half-dressed in a brown kimono, with a large tattoo on his back. On the back of his long head, he was holding a wooden sword and waving it powerfully. The crow Tengu, who was sitting on the futon, drinking hot tea and watching Nura Lagoon chop with a wooden knife, noticed the arrival of Nura Raikuo and Bishamontan, and quickly flapped her little wings and flew over. Kuro Tengu said quickly, Young master, Master Bishamontan, are you looking for the general? Nura Rikushung nodded and said, Yes, after all, Bishaman and my grandfather had a fight before, and now I bring Bishaman to turn the fight into friendship. TCH, she is already my granddaughter-in-law, so there is no need to dress up in a quarrel. Nu Liang Wa Piao walked over with the wooden sword on his right shoulder. Bishaman looked down at the diminutive Nura Watai, crossed his arms under the proud chest, and said, It was due to duty before, I'm sorry. After saying that, Bishaman stared at the back of Nora Kagoda's head for a few seconds, a little curious as to why the back of his head was much longer than ordinary people. Nura Raikuo's hair is also very long. When he saw Nura Raikuo's long white and black hair for the first time last night before the battle, Bishaman also thought of Nura Raikuo's smooth back. The same thing happened after Liang Lusheng lost his hair on the back of his head. But last night when I was holding Nura Raikuo's head on her breasts in bed, I discovered that there was no such thing as the back of the head. It was just hair. The back of the head was the same as that of ordinary people. It's not a big deal, but I didn't expect that just so long ago, the aloof Valkyrie actually became Raikuo's woman. You must have had a good sleep last night, Bishamontan, from now on you will be just like Raikuo. Just call me grandpa.
Nu Liang Hua Piao said a little disrespectfully. Bishaman's forehead had veins popping out, and he said with a perfunctory smirk on his face, Call you grandpa. I'm at least a few hundred years older than you, you want me to call you grandpa. Nu Liang Waguo rubbed his chin and said with a smile, Well, what else? I am Lu Sheng's grandfather, and you are Lu Sheng's woman. If you don't call me grandpa, what do you call me? Bishaman fell silent, and Nura Raikuo, 200, interrupted and said, Bishaman is indeed older than grandpa, and it's normal that he can't get over it. Well, Bishaman doesn't need to be called grandpa, and from now on he will be called the general. Well, when I succeed to the throne, I will call me the first generation general. Do you think it is feasible? I think it's feasible. Bishaman saw Nura Raikuo take the initiative to help her out. Although it was not a big deal, it touched her heart. Is this what it feels like to have a man? This feeling is wonderful. Not bad though. Well, since Lu Sheng said so, let's do it. Nura Wabo also knew that Bishaman would not call him grandpa, and it was just a prank just now. Since grandpa has seen it, let's say hello to my mother, and then I'll go to your house to have a look. Speaking of which, can I go to Takamawahara, the residence of the gods? After leaving the backyard of Nura Washe, Nura Rikushung took Bishaman to his mother Nura Wakana's house. Bishaman explained, only famous gods who own their own shrines can enter Takamagahara. If it is not a god who wants to enter, he can only ask other gods to help him enter. However, doing so is generally against the rules, but you are my man, Bishaman, naturally. No one dares to object. Nura Raikuo was attracted by Bishaman's domineering appearance and said with a smile, As expected of my goddess wife, she is so domineering. Snort. Bishaman snorted coldly, feeling a little satisfied in his heart. Even though she was a god who had lived for about a thousand years, she still had a rich heart. It's just that she never showed it before, because it would destroy her image in front of other gods and her own artifact. After all, she is a god of war who is good at killing, so how can she show sentimentality? Afterwards, I said hello to Nura Wakana, had breakfast, and immediately took the Madara brand flying vehicle to the nearest Bishaman shrine. There are many Bishaman shrines all over the country, and there are several branches in each city, adding up to hundreds. Ding, I found a new check in place, please sign in at Gao Tianyuan. Standing at the entrance of the shrine, the system prompted that there was a new check in place. Bishaman wanted to put his hand on Nura Raikuo's shoulder, but Nura Raikuo dodged it. Bishaman asked in confusion, why don't you want to go? Nura Rikusheng looked aside, turned his head to the side and said, we have already passed that, so we can no longer be intimate, I want to hold hands. Bishaman listened to Nura Raikuo's words and said amusedly, are you a child? After saying that, Bishaman grabbed Nura Rikusheng's hand and disappeared in front of the shrine. When he appeared again, he was already in the square of a huge villa. After arriving here, Bishaman's face showed a smile as if she had returned home, and she said, this is my home in Takamawahara. Quote. Nuliang Rikusheng looked around and tutted, I thought my family was already very big, but your square alone is comparable to the area where my family is located. After such a comparison, your family is truly big. God will give you the money. It's not money. The reason why Nura Raikuo and Bishaman came to her house was that firstly, he wanted to enter Takamagahara. After all, it is the residence of God. Secondly, since Bishaman is his, this is also half of his home. Come to the house see if there's no problem. Sister, it's my sister who is back. Great, Lord Bishaman is back. But next to her, could it be the slippery man who forced Onisama to sign an unequal contract? It's really abominable. Why would my sister bring such a monster back? There were men, women, and children chatting and living in this square. They were the souls attacked by filth that Bishaman saw outside, and saw that they were pitiful, as well as the artifacts of the Maji clan that had been massacred, so he gave these souls to the names of these artifacts or adopted in their own homes. The names of these artifacts all have the character, Ba, and they belong to the, Ba, family. There are about a hundred of them in total. Lord Bishaman, Miss, Sister. Just a few seconds after Bishaman came back, her commonly used artifacts came running over. Seeing his artifact, Bishaman said vigorously, Jauma, go and gather all the artifacts in the square, I have something to announce. 
Okay, I'll go right away. Zhao Ma glanced at Nuliang Lusheng, adjusted his glasses and turned to leave. When Zhao Ma went to inform the other artifacts in the villa, Bishaman was greeting the artifacts in the square, laughing and chatting, and the sun and moon were in harmony. Um, however, Nura Raikuo discovered that when Bishaman was talking to these gods, although these artifacts could say hello, there was a deep estrangement in their hearts. Although his face was filled with smiles, it was very reluctant. Just as Bishaman said last night, they only leave smiles to Bishaman, but hide their troubles in their own hearts. For these artifacts, Bishaman is their benefactor and their master. As an artifact, naturally he cannot make any demands or complain about his master. Even if he does, he will never say it. It seems that this big family is very warm, but also extremely empty. Not long after, about a hundred people gathered in the square, all of whom were Bishaman's artifacts. Nura Raikuo looked at so many artifacts and was a little worried about Bishaman. He asked, you are the only one in the entire Takamagahara who has so many artifacts. Can your body bear the burden? Bishaman said, it's okay. I've been taking medicinal baths to relieve the pain. I brought them all back. Naturally, I have to bear everything that the artifact brings. Then Bishamont didn't say much, but turned to look at the artifacts in front of him. With the majesty of the Valkyrie Bishamont and on his body, he said loudly, Okay, I will announce something now. The one standing next to me is me. When you meet a Bishamont and man from now on, just like when you meet me, you must not be rude, got it. A. There was a sound of shock in the square. Although Bishamon had some explanations after the artifact returned, he still didn't believe it. He thought it was just a joke. After all, who was Bishamon? Chu Sao 1 Rate Brain Trace 01400041175 Philu 102423011. But now that all of them heard with their own ears that Bishamon admitted that Nura Raikuo was her man, it was like a bolt from the blue, and their hearts were filled with more than a sigh of relief. Onisama has really committed herself to this monster. How could this happen? My sister is the purest goddess. How can she have a man? No, I don't believe it. Bishaman Sama, please tell us this is false. Lord Bishaman. Bishaman looked at such a noisy scene, frowned, and stamped his right foot on the ground with his combat boots, causing the ground to crack on the spot. Bishaman waved his hand and said domineeringly, What are you all so noisy about? This is my private matter. What I have decided cannot be changed. I am informing you. Instead of discussing it with you. As soon as Bishaman opened his mouth, the objections just now disappeared instantly. Indeed, once Mr. Bishaman made a decision, they could not refute it at all. Moreover, this matter was indeed Mr. Bishaman's private matter, and they had no right to interfere. Let's go. Bishaman walked forward, with Ryo Raikuo following behind him. Nuliang Lusheng joked, Yes, I can already protect my husband. You think too much, let me show you around first. Bishamontan took Nura Raikuo around all her territories, and then she was going to take a bath, because the many artifacts put a lot of burden on her, and taking a bath could make her relax. During this period, the system has also completed sign-in. Bishaman's mansion is also part of Takamagahara, so you can sign in while standing at Bishaman's mansion. Sign in successfully, congratulations to the host for getting the Zanpakuto, Senbon Sakura. Zanpakuto Senbon Sakura. Nura Raikuo raised his eyebrows slightly. This is Kuchiki Bukuya's zapping sword in bleach. It can break down the blade into countless invisible thin blades. When exposed to light, it looks like flying cherry blossom petals, and it can also be reorganized into the blade. The Demon Sword Thousand Blades has a similar effect, but Senbon Sakura is more beautiful, pretentious, gorgeous, and stronger. After watching the system introduction of Senbon Sakura, Nura Raikuo can rely on his own demon power to drive when using it. There is no limit when using it. Not only can it be solved first, but also the swastika. Another show-off artifact and long-range attack ability. Nura Raikuo discovered that what the system gave him was basically used for remote purposes, such as weather control, karma fire, king's treasure, the current Senbon Sakura, and the magic sword thousand blades that came out of the previous gift pack. Now the functions of demon sword Sengen and Senbon Sakura are somewhat overlapping, and their performance is not as good as Senbon Sakura. So from now on, Nura Raikuo's main weapon will be Senbon Sakura. 
As for Demon Sword Sangen, we followed Bishaman to a bathing room. This is the place where Bishaman only bathes. The place is very big, like a small pond. The water here is not ordinary water, it is pure water from the shrine. Pure water. Water has purifying properties. Bishaman stood in front of the bath, his clothes slipping off. Bishaman turned around and looked at Nero Raikuo who was standing aside and asked, Do you want to take a bath? The water here can purify people's restless moods and has the effect of calming people's minds and calming down. Oh, then I'll try too. Nura Raikuo listened to Bishaman's introduction that the water had this effect, and looked at Bishaman's perfect curves and tall, straight, white legs. The status of a god and a Valkyrie gave Bishaman, who was already full of prowess and beauty, a lot more points, and Nura Raikuo would inevitably fall into it. Two people. Not long after entering the bath, a very regular crisp sound sounded in the bathroom, which made people think. An hour later, the two of them came out of the bathroom. A bath made them both physically and mentally happy. The bath was really good. Maybe they can come here more often in the future. Master Bishaman, Rampa has brought the medicine to your room. Do you want to drink it now while it's hot? A girl's artifact was already standing at the door waiting. When she saw Bishaman coming out, she walked up. She was Bishaman's leather-clad artifact Shoba. When it wasn't an artifact, it was just a. She looks like a girl of 17 or 18 years old, and her artifact is the undead. In other words, Shoba died when she was only a high school student. Okay, I understand. Where is Zhao Ma? Why didn't he inform me? Bishaman wondered, Zhao Ma would always inform her of any trivial matters. Why was he nowhere to be seen today? Was he not on the plateau? Shoba whispered. Zhao Ma said he was a little uncomfortable, so he asked me to convey it. Uncomfortable. Okay, I understand. Nura Rikusheng said. Bishaman, go drink the medicine first, and then send me back. I still have some things to deal with. Come with me. Bishaman brought Nura Raikuo into his bedroom. No matter how you look at it, this villa is a super big bungalow that can accommodate a hundred people. You can imagine how big this house is. Just smelling this medicine makes me feel bitter. As soon as Bishaman entered the door, he smelled the smell of medicine on the table, and his face immediately fell. Nura Rikusheng looked at a bowl of brown medicine and said with a smile, Why, you don't like drinking it? Bishaman rolled his eyes at Nura Rikusheng, How could you like to drink it? It's bitter as hell. Lupa said you can't add sugar, so I can only drink it like this. It's also good for my health. Nuliang Lusheng smelled the medicine, and it was indeed very bitter. Let alone drink it. He rolled his eyes and said, Seeing that you are so repulsive, why not drink the imported medicine I gave you? Bar. Quote. Bishaman asked in confusion, Imported medicine. Is it the medicine of a foreign god? Come here and sit down on this sofa first. Okay. I'd like to see if you have any imported medicine that is more effective than the medicine prepared by Lu Ba. Bishaman sat down and then lay lazily on the sofa. The softness of the sofa made her body feel more comfortable. Then he watched how Nura Rikusheng took out the imported 0.1 medicine. He saw Nura Rikusheng taking the bowl of brown medicine and taking a sip, and then puffed his mouth and said, Woo woo woo, woo 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 woo. Mink did you see it, this is an imported drug. What? Bishaman sat up with wide eyes, shook his head and said, This is the imported medicine you mentioned. If you don't drink it, I won't drink it even if you kill me. Bishaman thought that the imported medicine Nura Raikuo mentioned was medicine from abroad. Ossos, de. Nura Raikuo held Bishaman's head in his hands regardless of whether he wanted to go or not. Wu, Gulu, cough. After taking a sip of the medicine, Bishaman blushed and covered his mouth with the back of his hand. Although the two of them had done that, they still felt so ashamed to drink this, imported medicine. So bitter. Nuliang Lusheng's face was full of bitterness. The bitter taste of this medicine kept stimulating the taste buds in his mouth. He didn't know what the hell it was. It was too bitter. Bishaman wiped the liquid from the corner of his mouth with his hand and cursed. You fool, you still talk about imported medicine, I really believe you. Of course this imported medicine is literal. I feed it to you personally. Although it is bitter, I tasted it for you first. It should not be so bitter after you drink it. Let me help you taste the bitterness first. 
With these heartwarming words, the resentment Bishaman had been filled with just now disappeared, and his heart was moved by Nura Raikuo. There's half left, let's have another bite. Nura Rikushung looked at the bowl with half of the medicine still in it and poured it into his mouth in ten gulps. This time Bishaman didn't move and drank the medicine cooperatively. Although his mouth was still bitter, he felt sweet in his heart for some reason. Ah, it's so bitter. I'm sorry you can keep drinking it. Nuliang Lusheng stuck out his tongue. This medicine is too bitter. For the first time, Bishaman appeared like a little girl. He lowered his head and twisted his golden hair with his fingers. He pointedly said, it used to be very difficult, but today, surprisingly, it's not so bad. It's painful. Listening to this sudden change in tone, Nura Rikushung took a step closer to the strategy of Bishaman's heart. Wow, you are worthy of me. Nuliang Lusheng nodded and said, then I can feed you every day. Bishaman's face was full of shyness, and he turned his head away from looking at Nura Rikushung, and said with a trembling voice, yeah, it doesn't have to be every day, you have to go to school, just when you have a rest. Nura Rikushung took out his mobile phone and said, no, I said I want to do it every day. By the way, let's exchange mobile phone numbers. Do you have a mobile phone? Yes, because as the times change, Takamagahara will also learn from the changes in the human era. In Takamagahara, you can also make phone calls and watch TV. Although Gao Tianyuan is a lofty god, he has to admit that the development of the human world is really fast, and it is also very interesting, so through the divine meeting, the gods gather together for a meeting. Deciding to learn from human technology, Gao Qianyuan was also equipped with various human entertainment devices, mobile phones, computers, televisions and other equipment. No wonder, I didn't expect you gods to be so fashionable. After exchanging contact information, Nura Rikushung asked Bishaman to send him back. After leaving Takamagahara, Raikuo Nura appeared again in front of the shrine where he entered Takamagahara. Looking at Madara not far away who was sleeping with his stomach raised and basking in the sun, Liang Lusheng stepped forward and patted him awake. After Madara woke up, he licked his paws with his tongue and said, Lusheng, you are back. I thought you were going to spend a whole day having with that Valkyrie in the god's domain. I'm sorry you thought of it. We made a bet, tisk tisk, that Valkyrie was unlucky when she met you, so she sold herself out. Quote. Nuliang Rikusheng rolled his eyes at it and said, you talk a lot of nonsense. Do you believe I will roast you and eat cat meat? Madara laughed and said, don't believe it, this body of mine is just a lucky cat. It's because I'm possessed by the lucky cat that I can make the lucky cat so alive. If you roast me, all you get is a lucky cat. It's just the body. 17 inches let's go back to the Nuliang group. I promised to take the two ladies on a date. Nura Raikuo rode Madara back to Narao's group. With Nura Raikuo's strength, he didn't need anyone else to protect him, so Madara sadly discovered that he, a majestic demon king, was reduced to the point of becoming a mount. Back home, Nuliang Rikusheng found Beiguiyuan Linlindi and Platakotan Grandiflorum. After seeing the two girls, Nura Raikuo's eyes lit up. Hakuian Rinlindi is already cute. After putting on a snow white dress and white silk, it is even more addictive. Kikio was the most eye-catching. She changed out of her Miko uniform and put on modern clothes. Under the guidance of Beigai and Rinlindi, she wore a light blue top, a white skirt with black silk, and the pair of calf-length boots made the originally mature and beautiful platycotin even more seductive. Beiguiyuan Linlindi said excitedly, Lu Sheng, Sister Kikio is beautiful, I know you men don't like bare legs. Stockings of various colors are your favorite. Look. Sister Kikio is wearing black stockings with looming flesh-colored thighs. How it is, coupled with the classic temperament, pure and lustful, the killing rate when walking on the road is simply max, making all the men on the road envious of you for having such a beautiful woman. Nura Raikuo's eyes really lit up. Kikio, who had put on modern clothes, completely exuded the charm of women. He gave Beigai and Linlindi a thumbs up and praised. Well done, Linlindi, I didn't expect you to come back. You know it quite well. Beigui and Linlindi was praised by Nuliang Raikuo, and she flew up with joy. She crossed her arms in front of the airport and pretended to be calm. I understand a little, I understand a little. This, Lu Sheng, isn't this a bit too revealing? 
Kikio was very embarrassed to wear this outfit. She had always worn a Miko uniform before, and even if it wasn't a Miko uniform, it was some kind of clothing that covered her whole body. Unlike now, she felt embarrassed just looking at it. Nura Rikushung came to Kikio with a satisfied smile on his face. He looked at the Kikio unscrupulously and said, not revealing, not revealing at all. Many women on the street are wearing this way. You haven't you seen it before? Kikio was still a little conservative, she shook her head and said, no, no, it's better to change it back. Nuliang Rikushung quickly took Kikio's hand and said affectionately, no, this is good, I like to watch it. Hearing this, Kikio made a fist with her other hand, turned her head and said charmingly, you, do you really like dressing up like this? Nura Rikushung nodded and said, well, I like it, so it's good like this. Let's go and play. Seeing Nura Raikua walking out of the house with the two girls, all the monsters in the family looked happy. Ching Tianfang touched his chin and said, young master has grown up, and it's time to add some women to the young master. It is said that other monster organizations have dozens of wives at least. We are also the largest monster organization in Kanto, Hiaki. Traveling at night, you can't lose your name. Kurodabo had a different opinion. He retorted, young master Raikuo is not one of those monsters who don't seek advancement. The other monsters want those who, although they have skins that can be seen, are all rats who are in favor of others. Young master the main thing I'm looking for is a woman who is not only beautiful, but also has temperament, kindness, and gentleness. She is not the kind that can only be compared to good-looking skin. Malhor also said, that's right, you can't talk nonsense in Qingtianfeng. The young master's current wives, Miss Linlindy was approved by the general. She is kind-hearted, positive, cute and beautiful, Miss Platakotan is gentle, intellectual, mature and stable, is a powerful Miko, and the other one is even more incredible, the strongest Valkyrie Bishamontan, I don't need to go into details, we can't even hurt that Valkyrie together. The head of Shu Wu, who was able to act separately, was floating in the air. He couldn't stop nodding and said, the young master is so powerful. It is said that even the gods were completely surrendered by him last night, so the person the young master is looking for cannot be Yang Ji. Popular fans. Ching Tianfang slapped his head and said loudly, what you said is true, ha ha ha, by the way, snow girl, why are you squatting there, not even saying a word. The Kappa whispered, it seems that he is jealous. The young master has found two other houses outside, but the snow girl still has not made any progress. He thinks that the young master does not like her. I see, but I don't think so. The snow girl means a lot to the young master. It's definitely not that I don't like her, but that I don't have the time. Nura Rikushung and the other three walked together on the road, Nura Rikushung walked in the middle, and Kikio and Beigai and Rinlindi walked on both sides of Nura Rikushung. Beiguiyuan Linlindi and Nuliang Rikushung were talking and laughing, but Kikio couldn't let go. Nuliang Rikushung took Kikio's hand and said, Jikyo, don't think so much, you are mine. The most important thing now is to be happy. Smile, don't frown, you look best when you smile. Of. Uh. I can't help but smile. Kikio is a bit sentimental. She is staying in this peaceful place, but her sister is still in the warring states period, and she feels a little guilty in her heart. Seeing Kikio's expression, Nora Rikushung knew the sadness in her heart and said, Okay, I understand. After today's appointment is over, we will go back to your house and have a look. If everything goes well, we may be able to bring your sister over, maybe. Kikio looked at Nura Rikushung in surprise, expecting and worrying in her heart. She said, can this be done? Didn't the monster corpse not be teleported with us? The corpse of a monster is a dead thing. Maybe it cannot be teleported and can only be swallowed by the bone eating well. Maybe it can be a living thing. When the time comes, just grab an animal or monster or something, or grab feces from both an experiment. Wait a minute, Lu Sheng, Sister Kikio, what are you talking about? I'm confused right now. Beigai and Linlindi couldn't understand what Nura Rikushung and Kikio were discussing. Concerning this matter, I will now tell you the origin of Platycodon Grandiflorum. Nura Rikushung had no need to hide the truth from Beigai and Rinlindi, so he told the origin of Platycodon and how they could lead to the Warring States period. Beigai and Linlindi said in disbelief, 
It turns out that Sister Kikios is from the Warring States period, and there is a well that can connect to that world. It seems that the time travel drama is not made randomly. Since we are looking for monsters, why don't I go with you? Go try it out. Can't. Nura Raikuo and Kikio said in unison, and then they looked at each other and smiled at each other. Nura Raikuo said, since it is an experiment, no one knows what will happen in the end. Will they follow us to Kikio exactly? The world has certain dangers. That's right, Linlindy, we can't let you take risks. If you really want to see my world, wait until we complete the experiment and then take you there if it works. But now for the first time. No one knows if anything will happen to anyone but the two of us. Oh. Beiguiyuan Linlindy spoke in a low voice. Although both of them spoke harshly, they were all for her own good. Linlindy was very happy inside. Next, the three of them played together and came to a crowded amusement park. The combination of the three made them the focus of attention wherever they went. There were two beauties that people couldn't take their eyes off, and another one who was so handsome. Each of these scumbag handsome guys is one of a kind. Now that they appear at the same time, why don't they attract attention? There are so many people. Kikio, who was visiting the amusement park for the first time, curiously looked around at the people coming and going. It was very rare in her time for so many people to gather together. The total number of people in the entire village was not as large as half the people here. Of course, it's an amusement park. It's a place specially designed for people to have fun. It's also a good place for dates. Today is also a Saturday and naturally there will be a lot of people. Wait, I'm going to buy ice cream. You will definitely like it, Platycodon. Nura Rikushung said something and then went to the concession stand in the amusement park to buy three ice creams, two of which were given to Shiroki and Rinlindi and Kikio. Kikio watched Nura Rikushung take a bite, and also imitated the bite. Suddenly, the ice cream entered his mouth and a cold air rushed straight to Tianling Gai, making Kikio shiver. Ha ha ha. Looking at Kikio's expression, Nuliang Risheng smiled unkindly. Kikio held her frozen head in one hand. Lu Sheng, you did this on purpose, didn't you? Nura Rikusheng directly admitted, Yes, I did it on purpose. I just wanted to see you showing such an expression, Kikio. I'll fight. Kikio was also angry and laughed. She reached out and wanted to hit Nuliang Raikuo. She said it was a hit but it was actually a slap. Nuliang Raikuo dodged to the right and said funny ly, you can't hit me. Stop, don't run. Kikio also rarely let go of the burden in her heart, and for the first time showed the vitality that she should have at this age, and followed Nura Raikuo away. In her time, Kikio, because she was a Miko, no one would play with her. Other girls could put on makeup, act coquettishly, and play tricks with their friends. She just looked at it and envied her in her heart, but she knew her identity. She doesn't deserve the life of an ordinary girl. But today, Kikio 683 has also lived the life of an ordinary girl, forgetting that she is a Miko and just a 17-year-old girl. Together with Nura Raikuo and Shirogi and Rinlindi, we played all over the amusement park, including roller coasters, bumper cars, ferris wheels and other large rides, and the smiles on our faces never stopped. Afterwards, the three of them had lunch and went to the zoo in the afternoon. They had a fulfilling day. Time slowly came to dusk, and the sun set in the west. The three of them sat on a bench in a park, looking at the sparkling light of the setting sun in front of them. Lake, contented. Platycodon Grandiflorum and Beigai and Linlindi each rested their heads on Nura Raikuo's shoulders. They were also tired, and now they just wanted to enjoy the tranquility of this moment. Accompanied by beauties, life is a happy one. Nura Rikushung smells the fragrance of the two women's hair and is very satisfied. This kind of life is called life. You have strength, longevity, power, and a girl you like. This kind of life is called life, and it is comfortable. Hey, an inexplicable wind blew by, making the hair of Shibaguyu on Lindy and Kikio a little messy. Nuliang Raikuo looked to the left and rear, frowned and said, unusual wind. This is the wind containing evil spirit, released by monsters. When Kikio sensed the presence of a demon, her originally peaceful and peaceful face immediately became solemn. She is a witch and is born with powerful spiritual power, so she is particularly sensitive to evil spirits. Am I the target? 
Beigayan Linlindi is an atavistic demon and is easily targeted by pure-blooded monsters. Now is the time to encounter demons, so Beigayan Linlindi first thought that a monster was targeting her. If she were alone, she might still be nervous, but now she is not afraid. Nura Raikuo and the Miko Kikio, which monster doesn't want to die? Kikio raised his head and said, No, the target is not you, but a battle occurred elsewhere. Because it is a bit close to here, the battle with a monster that can control the wind will have an impact. Come here. Quote. Nura Rikushung stood up and said, Let's go and see if the monsters from my Nura group are fighting with other monsters. Nura Raikuo is still very concerned about the Nura group, because he will soon become the third generation leader. Although he can now carry out the Hundred Demon Night Walk, after becoming the third generation, his influence will. Only when the sound reaches the highest level can the night parade of hundred ghosts be even more powerful. Hiaki Yako is a group, and all monsters in the Nura group are members of Hiaki Yako. The power of Hiaki Yako comes from the leader, that is, the slippery ghost. As strong as the core of Hiaki Yako is, the potential and strength of Hiaki Yako are as strong as they can be in battle. It all depends on the leader of the hundred ghosts to exert a power that exceeds his own or falls below his own. The same team, why is it said that the second generation of the leader will become the strongest monster organization in the entire Edo period? No one dares to ignore its edge. It is because of the emergence of characters like Nura Liban that the stronger he is as the leader of a hundred ghosts, the stronger the monsters under his command will be, and the strength the monsters gain from the leader can be fed back to the leader, making the leader more powerful, powerful. Under such Jenga, it was normal for him, who was only half demon, and Hiaki to figure it out and use Onomai to dominate the entire Edo period. After the death of Nuliang Liban, Beigui Yexing lost its leader, and Nuliang Wadiao, who had retired, came back to take over the position of general. However, Nura Watao was severely injured hundreds of years ago, and his strength declined severely. In addition, he did not have the ambitions of his youth, and he wanted to let Nura Raikuo succeed to the throne. Therefore, after his comeback, he did not have a night walk with hundreds of ghosts, resulting in hundreds of ghosts walking in the night. Gui Yexing's morale is low, and his strength has declined unprecedentedly. As the third generation candidate Nura Raikuo grew up, there have been several Hiaki night walks over the years, and the Hiaki's strength was slowly lifted by him. Although it has not completely returned to normal levels, it is gradually turned back. After he inherits the third generation, Nura Raikuo will completely become the master of all demons, and he will restore his Hayakuki Yako to its peak, or even surpass it. At the same time, in a bamboo forest, a tall man wearing a strange mask was running forward. He had many wounds on his body and blood was flowing out. Behind him, three men in suits were chasing after him, and they were fighting. Blade attack. It can be seen that these three men have no legs under their bodies, and it is as if a gust of wind is lifting them up. Even though the masked man is running with all his strength, the distance between the two sides is still getting closer. The masked man announced his name loudly, and said, I am Baboon, the president of the Kanto Great Ape Association under the Nura clan. Why did you bunch of rats sneak up on me? A cold laughter sounded in the bamboo forest, and a hook-nosed man appeared from above to block the baboon's path. His feet were the same as those of the man chasing the baboon, and he was surrounded by a whirlwind. Whip praised. As expected of a cadre under the Nuliang group, he was able to react to our surprise attack and killed three of my men when he resisted me, but that's the end of it for you. The baboon gritted his teeth, because something unusual seemed to have happened on the territory of the Nuliang group in the past two days. He asked Nuliang Wadiao for orders to investigate, but the investigation for two days yielded no results. But today, when he was returning home with his monsters, he was suddenly attacked by seven monsters on the road. These seven monsters were all of the same race. Whip. Whip is a monster that can control the wind and use the wind to cut. Extraordinary lethality. The baboon was first attacked and injured by the leader of the seven wind demons, the man in front of him. Then he led his baboon team members to resist. After killing the three wind demons, all the team members were killed, and he was the only one who barely resisted. But knowing that he was definitely no match, he fought and retreated. 
If it were a few years ago, the baboon would have known that his strength would have been seriously injured and lost his ability to fight when he was attacked by the whip, because the Nuliang group's Hayakuki Yako lost their core leader. The strength of these monsters associated with the Nuliang group it was also affected, and its strength declined seriously. However, with the rise of the third generation candidate, Hayakuki Yako reappeared in the world. As a cadre of the Nuliang group, his strength improved after receiving feedback from Wei, and the same was true for the baboon. The stronger Beigui Yako became, the stronger the members became. The baboon was not directly defeated, but instead killed three enemies. But it's really over now. Even if the strength has improved a bit, the baboon is already quite old, and the whip on the other side is not a weakling. The overall strength is stronger than him now, plus there are three demon soldiers under his command. The baboon was injured in a sneak attack, and the outcome was determined. The baboon said unwillingly, Who are you? Attack and kill me. Are you ready to go to war with the Nuliang group? Whip sneered and said, Nuragumi. Since the death of the second generation of the Nuragumi, your Nuragumi has become worse day by day. You still occupy the throne of the strongest monster in Kanto. You are no longer worthy. We are from the Shikoku. The 88 ghosts of the night are here to take away the fear of your Nuliang group, and let us, the 88 ghosts of the four kingdoms, become the hundred ghosts of the night instead of you. The baboon snorted, and said with disdain on his masked face, just you guys. We still have the third generation of the Nura group. He will be the strongest leader in the history of our Nura group and will definitely lead us. To restore the glory of the past, you clowns are worthy of competing with our Nuliang group. Do you still want to become a Hiyaki Yako? Wishful thinking. An angry look appeared on Whip's face, and he was about to say something cruel, but before he could finish his words, he was interrupted by an arrogant and arrogant voice. Baboon, you're right. With just these rubbish, are you worthy of being compared with our Nuliang group? This voice is the young master. The baboon's spirit was shaken. This wild voice that seemed to take no one seriously was undoubtedly the young master of the Nuliang group. It was the voice of Nuliang Lusheng after he turned into a monster. Nura Raikuo is a half demon, with two different appearances human and monster. Although they are somewhat similar, the two bodies are still fundamentally different, and even their voices are different. One is slightly softer, and the other is arrogant and domineering. Young Master, the candidate for the third generation of the Nura group, Raikuo Nura. Whip and his men looked around and saw a tall man with an unruly smile on his face, wearing a black kimono and a blue haori, in the bamboo forest where the sun had set and the night was closing, with the bamboo leaves flying. That unique hairstyle and extremely handsome face have simply reached a new level. Beside him, there were two beautiful women who were as handsome as Nuliang Lusheng. This evil spirit is not human but a slippery ghost. Whip stared at Nuliang Raikuo. This was the young master of the Nuliang group, a slippery ghost with a quarter of the blood of monsters. After a few glances, Whip immediately became disdainful. Haha, I didn't expect a big fish to appear today. He is just a 16-year-old young master with a quarter of demon blood. He must have captured you to Yuzhong. Quite happy. The age of a monster is linked to its strength. At a young age like Nura Raikuo, does he have the strength to be a monster? This is also the reason why the whip looks down on Nura Rikusheng. So what if he is the young master of the Nura group? In this world of monsters where the strong is respected, fists are king. Nura Rikusheng sneered, it seems that I have been too low-key these years. Not only the Nura group was underestimated, but also me. Shikoku 88 Ghost Knight, right. Very good, let you Shikoku monster, become the first sacrifice of my Nuliang group's comeback. HMPH, stop talking nonsense, go ahead and capture him. Whip ordered his three subordinates. Hearing the words, the three wind demons stepped forward and approached Nuliang Lusheng. Nura Rikusheng said to the two women beside him, Stand back, don't get accidentally hurt. Kikio didn't say anything. She was a Miko with powerful spiritual power. She should have shot this kind of monster with one arrow. Although she didn't have a weapon now, it was not difficult to deal with it with her spiritual power, but now it was Nura Raikuo's. She can't steal the spotlight at home. Beiguyuan Linlindy knew that his strength was limited and now was not the time to show off his strength, so the two of them stepped back some distance. Let's scatter, Senban Sakura. 
Nura Raikuo pulled out a sword from his body, and the blade glowed coldly in the residual light. It was the Zanpakuto Senban Sakura that was signed in at Bishaman's house this morning. As Raikuo Nura spoke the words of liberation, Senban Sakura's blade began to dissipate from the tip of the blade, breaking into pieces as thin as cicada wings, and then turned into pink cherry blossom petals flying all over the sky under the illumination of the moonlight, which was very beautiful. But this is not a real cherry blossom. It looks like a cherry blossom, but it is a knife-edge score that can kill people and deceive other people's eyes. The three wind demons didn't pay much attention to the cherry blossoms flying around them, and they didn't care even if they fell on them. But just when they wanted to use their demon power, they suddenly felt a tearing pain. PFF. Blood suddenly shot out from the three wind monsters. They looked at the scars on their bodies in disbelief, not knowing when they were attacked. Obviously there are only cherry blossoms. Wait, cherry blossoms. However, they could no longer think about it. The vitality in their bodies was continuously deprived of them. Finally, they lay straight on the ground, a few trash fishes who couldn't even speak. This is the blade. Standing in the distance, Whip stretched out his hand and pinched a piece of cherry blossom. It looked like a cherry blossom petal, but if you look closely at the piece and pinch it, you can see that it is a small blade that can easily cut through clothes and skin after touching it. Because the blade is too small, the refraction of light is very deceptive and makes people look like petals. The number of petals released by a knife is at least thousands. After easily destroying three demon soldiers with Senban Sakura, Nura Rikushung's expressionless thoughts controlled the petals to regroup on the handle of Senban Sakura in his hand. The countless petals reorganized and transformed again in less than a second. He returned what looked like an ordinary knife. The whip felt a little solemn in his heart, but he still said lightly, So, the general of the Nuliang group really cares about you as a young master, and even found such a demon sword for you, but the sword is always an external force. You still can't beat me. Innocent, do you really think I rely on a sword? Nuliang Raikuo stepped forward, and then the boundless demonic energy spread out, and the powerful fear rushed towards the whip. Demon, you're handsome. And this fear, the sunglasses that were stuck to his eyes were shattered by Nura Raikuo's demonic aura, and his body was forcibly suppressed to the ground by Nura Raikuo's fear. Whip seemed to be in hell. He looked at Nuliang Lusheng who was walking step by step in front of him. He didn't seem to be a tall figure, but it was infinitely magnified in his eyes. However, his pitiful fear was only reflected by Nuliang. It was just a plaything that Lu Sheng held in his palm. No. Impossible, it's fake, it's all fake, ah. Whip was dripping with cold sweat, and every step Nura Rikushung took seemed to be walking on his heart. This dull and suffocating feeling made Whip feel like he was going to die. He stood up like crazy and waved his hands to control the wind in the air to form a sickle-like wind blade and slash towards Nura Rikushung. Young master, be careful, this wind blade is very powerful. The baboon looked at Nuruo Raikuo who was walking in front of his house, and when he saw the whip whipping out the wind blade, he quickly reminded the young master that he was injured by the wind blade sneak attack. The wind's cutting ability is extraordinary, and the whip has this ability. A monster that injects wind control into its own magical power to attack. It doesn't matter. With an attack of this magnitude, you don't even need to dodge. When the wind blade flew towards him, Nuru Rikushung's eyes widened. The powerful fear was like a substantial attack, which dissolved all the flying wind blades and restored them to wisps of safe breeze. The whip was a little hard to accept. When he wanted to attack again, in just a blink of an eye, Nura Raikuo in front had disappeared, and only a few cherry blossom petals were seen floating in front. Whip immediately sensed the danger, but before he could take any action, a knife was placed across his neck. Whip was startled, feeling desperate and afraid to move but glanced back from the corner of his eye, saw the figure wearing a blue feather fabric with its back to him. Nura Raikuo stood back to back behind the whip. Senban Sakura in his hand held the handle of the knife in front of the whip's neck handsomely. He turned his head slightly and looked at the whip with contempt with his red eyes. Single quote dot quote, you are the only monster in the four countries. If you have some strength, you still dare to run wild with our Nuliang group and deal with your group of invaders. It's time for the 88 ghosts of the four kingdoms to be destroyed at night. Single quote. Without giving the whip a chance to speak, 
Nuru Raikuo slashed the knife across Chin's neck, and then lightly shook off the blood on the blade of Senban Sakura. Plop! Huan Fan fell to the ground with his eyes white, not breathing. Det. The baboon couldn't help but gasped as he watched Nuru Rikusheng kill the whip in an understatement. In his opinion, the strength of this monster was not weak, but it was frightened by the young master's fear. The last knife on its neck looked so relaxed and freehand, as if it was not a real person who was killed. The powerful demon bird is just a little demon. The baboon had lost too much blood and was mentally relaxed after the whip was taken off. He couldn't hold it anymore and knelt down on one knee. Nuru Rikusheng glanced at General and disappeared. When he reappeared, he had already supported the baboon who was about to fall down and asked, Baboon, are you okay? The mask on the baboon's face fell off, revealing his rather handsome face. He smiled bitterly and said, No, it's okay, young master. It's just that I lost a lot of blood and was dazzled. Thank you, young master. Thank you for your kindness, otherwise I, the baboon, would have risked my life here today. Quote. Nuliang Raikuo nodded, as long as everything was fine, and then he said coldly, the 88 ghosts of the four kingdoms walking at night actually attacked the cadres of my Nuliang group. I really don't know what to say. It seems that I, Nuliang, the group failed to move many times and was regarded as a paper tiger. It is time to give a warning to the monsters across the country. Quote. Young Master. X3. At this moment, three human-shaped crows Wangdas flew down from the sky, and they were the three feathered crows of the Nuliang group. Nuliang Lusheng looked at the three of them and said, they came very quickly. He had contacted three feathered crow before he came. He only spent a few minutes here and killed the whip and three monsters in a short time, and three feathered crow had already arrived. Zhu Zume, the eldest daughter of the three feathered crows, said meticulously, yes, after receiving the order from the young master, we, the first crow, came at full speed. Nuru Rikusheng nodded, and then began to order, well, in the name of the third generation candidate of the Nura group, I will inform all the faction leaders and cadres under the Nura group in the Kanto region. We will gather at Nurugumi's house tomorrow night. I have an important meeting. Listening to Nura Rikusheng's serious words and content, three feathered crows sensed that a storm was coming. Although they didn't know what happened, it must be a big thing and they needed to be summoned. All the cadres and faction leaders of the Nuliang group have been arrested. This is definitely a big deal. Three Feathered Crow did not dare to neglect and nodded hurriedly in agreement. Nuliang Rikusheng continued, In addition, you took the baboon back for treatment. He was attacked by the enemy and has bled too much. That's all. Yes. X3. Three Feathered Crow also saw the situation of the baboon and did not dare to delay at all. Kurohanmaru and Jigwanwan held up the baboon and flew into the sky towards the Nuliang group's family. Zunjume picked up the baboon from the ground. S Mask followed suit. Lu Sheng, who are the people who attack the cadres of the Nuliang group? Aren't they afraid of our Nuliang group? Beigai and Rinlindi really doesn't understand that there are other monsters who dare to invade the Nurugumi, the strongest monster organization in Kanto. How courageous it must be to do such a thing. Nuliang Lusheng put away his chinbenkin and said, Since my father was assassinated, the Nushang group has reached the bottom. My reputation has not been obvious over the years, so I want to. In order to seize the territory of the Nora group and increase their power, the 88 ghosts of the four kingdoms at night happened to be a chicken, killing the chicken to scare the monkeys, in order to announce the return of the Nora group and the hundred demons at night. Kikio stepped up in her boots and asked, Is the Shikoku 88 demons night parade strong, the same as the 100 demons night parade? She had only heard of the 100 Demons Night Parade before, but had never heard of the 88 Demons Night Parade. Is there such a demon that walks at night? Nura Raikuo answered, of course there is. There are also the 76 Demons Night Parade, the 53 Demons Night Parade, etc. The difference between them and the 100 Demons Night Parade is the size of the territory, the number of team members, and the amount of fear they get. My Nura group was once the strongest demon organization in the Edo period. There is no doubt that the 100 Demons Night Parade is the strongest among all demon organizations. For example, the overall strength of the Shikoku 88 Demons Night Parade is weaker than ours. Now they dare to take the initiative to pull the whiskers on the tiger. 
I will let all demon organizations know that the 100 Demons Night Parade is still the 100 Demons Night Parade. Nura Raikuo was full of momentum, and the leaves on the ground were shaking. So handsome. Shiragi and Rinrincho looked at Nura Raikuo infatuatedly. She had already fallen in love with Nura Raikuo and couldn't help herself. Who wouldn't like a man who was handsome and powerful? Let's go, have dinner first and then go back. After you go back, Kikyo, you change back into the shrine maiden clothes, and then we will set off to your era. Okay. After dinner at a high-end restaurant, Nura Raikuo and the other two returned to the Nura group. At this time, Nura Raikuo felt that the atmosphere in the group was different as soon as he entered the main family. Nura Raikuo certainly knew what was going on. After all, others had fought to the doorstep, and as a member of the family, he would naturally not be laughing. Nura Raikuo looked at the two people around him and said, Kikio, go change your clothes first. Rinrincho, you go too. I'll come find you later. The snow girl Bingley trotted to Nura Raikuo and said hurriedly, Master Raikuo is back. The general told you to go directly to the meeting room after you come back. Thank you for your hard work. I'll go now. Nura Raikuo walked towards the meeting room, and at the door of the meeting room, a tall man in red clothes and a hood was sitting cross-legged on the ground. In the meeting room, there are not many cadres here for the time being. They are all cadres living in the main family, but they have already started discussing. The man at the door of the meeting room is not interested in the content of the meeting at all. He is just waiting for someone here. Suddenly, a figure came straight out of the darkness. When Xingying saw Nura Raikuo in front of him, he hurriedly stood up and walked forward. After standing up, he looked about two meters tall. Xingying came to Nura Raikuo, knelt down without saying a word, and then said, Master, thank you for saving my father. From today on, my life belongs to you. Nura Raikuo looked at the tall man kneeling in front of him and said, Xingying, the son of baboon. Xingying said gratefully, Yes, this time thanks to the young master who appeared in time to save my father, otherwise he would not be able to escape this time. Nura Raikuo said indifferently, No need to thank me, Baboon is a member of my Nura team, I naturally have to save him, how is his condition now? Master Yu has treated my father, and his injuries have stabilized, but he has lost too much blood and it will take some time to recover. Quote, when Xingying heard that his father was seriously injured in the baboon group, his heart was in his throat. He went directly to the headquarter of the Nura group to check the situation. After understanding the situation, he admired and appreciated Nura Raikuo. When he learned that the group was in a meeting, Xingying came to the door of the meeting room and waited for Nura Raikuo to express his gratitude to him. That's good, Xingying, your life does not belong to me, but to yourself, so you don't need to give your life to me. Live well and make contributions to the Nura group, which is to repay me. Quote. Get up. Nura Raikuo patted Xingying who was kneeling on the ground, and then continued to walk forward. Hey, Raikuo is here, come and sit down. Quote. Nuliang Haleao and others had already seen Xingying kneeling down to thank Nuliang Lusheng outside. To them, the baboon was also an old man of the Nuliang group, and they had a good relationship with them, especially Niu. Hell, the two often drink together. Regarding the attack on the baboon, everyone felt that it was unusual. Grandfather. Nura Rikusheng said hello to Nura Wao and sat next to him. Now Raikuo Nura is still the candidate for the third generation, so Nura Wayu will be here when there are important things. Once Raikuo Nurao succeeds to the third generation, then Raikuo Nurao will no longer care about it but will retire will only reach this position again when the Nura group is played by Nura Raikuo and cannot even defend its territory. But that's certainly not going to happen. Nu Liang Wa Piao took a sip of the tea in his hand, and then said, well, we all know the matter. Sanyu Kro said that you will convene a meeting of the entire group of cadres tomorrow. Is this the case? Nu Liang Rikusheng looked serious and said with determination, Yes, the monsters from the 88 ghosts of the Four Kingdoms want to seize the territory of my Nuliang group, so naturally I, the hundred demons of the night, cannot sit still and wait for death. After I eliminate the remaining parties that invaded here, I will personally lead the monsters of my Nura group to point my sword at the Shikoku, destroy their 88 ghosts at night, accept the territory of the four countries, announce the return of my Nura group, 
and let the monsters all over the country everyone knows that I, Nira Raikuo, will be the third generation general of the Nirugumi, the king of all demons, and the master of the night parade of 100 ghosts. Okay. As long as the young master gives the order, my ghost team will definitely take the lead in the charge. After Nira Raikuo finished speaking, Ukiyuki was the first to support him. The Narao group was his home, and the monsters from the four countries wanted to occupy his home, so Ukiki would naturally not agree. But he is not the leader and cannot make the decision. I didn't expect the young master to be so tough and ambitious. He not only wants to fight back the invading demon, but also destroys its lair. As the most powerful faction in the group, he naturally has to fight for the Nuleong group fought bloody battles and expanded their territory. Well, isn't that too radical? Um, as soon as Ichimoku opened his mouth to object, Nira Raikuo and Ushiki glared at him, forcing their own fear onto Ichimoku. Aikimashi was startled and quickly changed his words, those fools from Shikoku really treat me as Nureo. The team is made of mud, I must make them look good. Nura Rikushung said seriously, very good, Ichimoku. When the time comes, I will let you be the vanguard and lead the monsters of my Nura group to attack the four countries. 1. Ah, young master, how can I be so virtuous and capable? Why, Ichimoku, you're not afraid anymore, are you? How? Dot how is it possible? I am a powerful monster at first glance. How can I be afraid? Then it's settled. Ichimoku wished he could give himself a bad mouth, he insisted on being mean-mouthed, now it's okay, he got involved in it. As the advisor of the Nuleong group, Muyu Bodhidharma said, Young master, even if you really plan to attack the four kingdoms, you can't act blindly. I think you still need to formulate a battle plan. Nura Rikushung said without thinking, I'll leave this matter to you as a consultant, no problem. The young master trusts me when he leaves this matter to me, and I, Yu Yupo, promise to give the young master a satisfactory answer. Okay, let's wait for the other faction leaders to come tomorrow and then have detailed discussions. I'll leave first. After finishing speaking, Nura Raikuo stood up and left. Kuro Tengu looked at Nura Rikushung's leaving back and said with emotion, Wow, the young master has finally grown up and begun to have the courage of a general. There are successors to the Nura group. I am really touched. Quote, Nu Liang Wa Piao didn't say a word when Lu Sheng was talking just now. Now he laughed with satisfaction and said, Ha ha ha, you are worthy of being my grandson. He is decisive and strong enough. Follow me, follow me. After leaving the conference room, Raikuo Nura went to where the poison was. Nu Liang Rikusheng leaned against the door and turned his head to look at the baboon lying on the floor. Although he had learned some information from Xingying, he still took the initiative to come here and asked, isn't the baboon fatally injured? Jen looked back at Lu Sheng, stood up and replied, there is a fatal injury, but I have it under control. Now it is mainly a coma caused by excessive bleeding. However, Sir Baboon has a very strong physical fitness, and it will take more than 100 days to recover. He will wake up in a day. Thanks to your timely rescue this time. If he had been brought back 10 minutes later, the blood in his body would have been drained, and even I would have been unable to do anything. Quote. Nura Rikushung said in a cold tone, as long as you save them, the monsters from the four countries will have to pay the price sooner or later. Bit. When I opened my mouth to speak, I found that Nura Raikuo had disappeared, leaving only cherry blossoms scattered in the same place. Shuin caught a petal and chuckled, this kid is really fast. Nura Rikushung has found Kikio. She has changed into her Miko uniform and is standing under the 400-year-old cherry blossom tree at the door of Nura Rikushung's room, looking up. The HFC Nura Raikuo quietly came behind Kikio, then reached out and hugged Kikio from behind. Kikio was not surprised, she just looked back slightly at Nura Rikushung who was hugging her. After accidentally hurting Nura Rikushung before, she had already remembered Nura Rikushung's demonic aura. And she is very sensitive to demonic energy, so even if Nura Raikuo came behind her without making a sound, Kikio already knew it. Neither of them spoke, and after five minutes of silence, Kikio looked at the cherry blossom tree in front of him and asked, this tree must have a long history to grow so big. Nura Rikushung hugged her from behind Kikio, resting his chin on her shoulder, and said, 
400 years ago, my grandfather was severely injured by a big demon and took away his heart. His strength declined severely, and then he chose to establish a business here. The Nurugumi family, this is the cherry blossom tree that my grandma and grandpa planted together. It has been more than 400 years ago, and the cherry blossoms are always blooming and falling. The heart was stolen 400 years ago. Kikio was slightly surprised. The heart of Nuru Raikuo's grandfather was taken away by other monsters, and it was still strong and healthy after 400 years. It was incredible. If other monsters lost their hearts, they would probably die within a few minutes. How strong must Nuru Raikuo's grandfather be to survive without a heart? Go away, go to your time. Um. Nuru Rikusheng let go of Kikio, and Kikio put the quiver on his back, picked up the bow with his left hand, and left the Nura group with Nura Rikusheng. On the way, Nura Rikusheng casually caught a monster that was preparing to prey on humans, and also caught a chicken as a test prop to see if they could bring living creatures to the world they traveled through. The two came to the bone-eating well, threw the two living creatures in and jumped into the well at the same time. After counting silently for one minute, a burst of white light lit up under my feet. I subconsciously closed my eyes and then opened them again. It was already the warring states period. Kikio immediately looked at the two test chickens and monsters they brought. They were fine, they were all there, and they seemed to be fine. Kikio said slightly excitedly, Lu Sheng, we succeeded. As long as they are living creatures, we can indeed take them through time together. It's good to be successful. Nura Rikusheng nodded, and then killed the monster. As for the chicken, he didn't want to eat chicken now, so he let it go. Nuliang Rikusheng took Kikio's hand and said, Let's go to your house and take your sister to my Nuliang group from now on, so you can rest assured. I am naturally relieved that my sister has gone to the Nuliang group, but the village. Son, I'm still very worried. I want to come and see you every two days to help the village clean up the monsters wandering around. Single quote. After all, Kikio has stayed in this village for so many years and still has a lot of affection for the village. She doesn't want to give up on her village just like this, so she still wants to come every two days to check on the situation. Can. Nuliang Lusheng said that there was no problem, and he would pamper his daughter-in-law. Thanks. There is no need to be polite between you and me. If you really want to thank me, I would like to do something substantial. After Nuliang Rikusheng finished speaking, Kikio leaned forward and kissed Nuliang Rikusheng. Nura Raikuo looked at Kikio with his eyes closed in front of him. He didn't expect to be so proactive now. Nura Raikuo immediately responded without being polite and hugged the other party. The two separated after three minutes, and Kulo smiled when he faced Nuliang Rikusheng, I'm satisfied. Satisfied, let's go. The two returned to the village, and the people in the village once again looked at each other in surprise at the sudden disappearance and reappearance of Platycodon. Fortunately, Platycodon had already made up an excuse to deal with it. The village chief remembered something and said, By the way, Miss Kikio, it seems that someone from the exorcist village wanted to find Miss Kikio today. When they found out that Miss Kikio was not there, they said, We'll come back later. Single quote. Exorcist. What do they want from me? The identities of exorcists are similar to that of witches. They both work to exorcise demons. The difference is that witches are born with spiritual power. Exorcists are ordinary people, but they have been trained to exorcise demons since they were young. So even ordinary people have impressive skills. Murakami thought for a while, it seems that there is something that I want Miss Kikio, Amiko, to keep, but I don't know the details. Exorcist. Is there something you want Kikio to keep? Nura Raikuo stood next to Kikio and listened to these words, and immediately realized that he was going to give Kikio the Four Souls Jade this big trouble. The Jade of the Four Souls attracts monsters and has the effect of enhancing the power of the monsters. Every monster who wants to become stronger wants to use the Jade of the Four Souls to increase their strength. Before accepting the Shikan Jade, Kikio's life was pretty good. Although there were demons that might attack, it was not a problem at all with Kikio's ability to protect the village. Once the Four Souls Jade is here, the monsters in the future will attack in groups. Even Kikio is a little powerless. In the end, because of the Four Souls Jade and Inuyasha's recognition. Knowing each other, it ended tragically. I see. 
Kikio took Zhao Feng home and told her everything completely. When she learned that the eldest brother in front of her was actually the person her sister liked, she was even more surprised than Ku Zhang had traveled through other eras. After all, Zhao Feng, who knew Platycodon very well, couldn't believe that her sister actually liked someone. In the past, even the prince of a city came to propose marriage, but he was rejected mercilessly and said that he would not like any man in the future. And the fact is indeed the case. Kikio has always kept a distance from other men and has never stood with a man. But now, she has only come to this man twice. The man said he liked it, which was really surprising. No matter how surprised my sister is now, Kikio asked, Zhao Feng, are you willing to go to that era? I will go wherever my sister goes. Kikio smiled and stroked her sister's little head, and said happily, Okay, I will take you with me when we go back. Miss Kikio. Is Miss Kikio at home? Outside the door, the voices of several young strong men came. Nura Rikusheng and Kikio looked at each other, It seems that the demon slayer that the village chief said is here, let's go out and have a look. Miss Kikio, I am the head of the demon slayer village, and we have something to ask of you. Five middle-aged men stood in front of Kikio, with pleading expressions on their faces. What's the matter? Kikio is a little puzzled. Could it be that there are monsters that even the exorcists have trouble dealing with? The village chief of the demon slayer didn't do any ink, and said straight to the point, I found a very troublesome thing here, the jade of the four souls, and I want to entrust it to a kind-hearted and powerful spiritual witch, Miss Kikio. I hope you can it can purify the contaminated four soul jade and help protect it. Saying that, the village chief of the demon slayer took out the jade of the four souls. The jade of the four souls, which was originally pure, was now stained with a little black energy. This was because the jade of the four souls had been captured by monsters and killed by the demon masters. The monster took it back. It turns out to be the jade of four souls. Platycodon Platycodon has heard of the name of the four souls jade, and also knows the function of the four souls jade. Once you accept the entrustment of the demon slayers to protect the four souls jade, it will inevitably attract a large number of demons. If she hadn't met Nuliang Lu before he was alive, she would definitely have accepted it without saying a word, but now, she hesitated. Nura Rikusheng had no interest in the four souls jade at all. Although he was really awesome, he was a systematic person and did not bother to snatch it. He immediately took two steps forward to face the demon slayers. Said, you also know that this jade of the four souls is a hot potato, it will attract countless monsters to snatch it, so I'm sorry, you should look for other witches who can purify and protect the jade of the four souls. The demon slayer village chief felt a bit in his heart. If Kikio couldn't accept the task of guarding the Shikan jade, then who could be qualified? They had already gotten to know each other before, and after comparing many witches, they finally decided to choose Platycodon because Platycodon has strong spiritual power, a kind heart, and will not be tied down by the world, and will definitely accept it and be able to protect it. But now I didn't expect that Miko Kikio would have a man beside her who could help her decide things. Didn't it mean that Miko Kikio has never liked anyone? She has always been a fresh and indifferent person. The demon slayer village chief asked, Who are you? Nuliang Rikusheng took Platycodon's hand, intertwined their fingers in the eyes of the five demon slayers, and said, Platycodon is my daughter-in-law, I will help her choose. What? The exorcist village chief didn't even know that Kikio was already someone else's wife. When did this happen? Why didn't he investigate the news? Kikio opened her mouth, Lu Sheng. Jikyo, I know you are kind-hearted and want to accept this commission, but I don't want to. Once you take on the task of guarding the Jade of the Four Souls, your days will be like years. I won't allow it. Besides, in this warring states period, there are so many witches. You are the only one who can do it, and give other witches a chance. After all, I can still move around in the world without you, and you are my woman and you want to go with me. You have no time to protect the Four Soul Jade. Quote. Platycodon is at war between heaven and man in his heart, whether to choose to protect the four souls jade for the sake of justice, or to pursue love and happiness for himself. Kikio was not one to hesitate, and made her decision in less than a minute. Sorry, demon slayers, you should choose other Mikos. I believe that there are other Mikos whose spiritual power is not weaker than mine, and they can also protect the Shikan jade. After saying that, 
Kikio looked at Nira Rikushung and nodded to him. In the end, she gave up her righteousness and wanted to live with Nira Rikushung. The Demon Slayer village chief shook his head in disappointment, this. Oh, okay, I won't bother Miss Kikio, let's go. Wait a minute, I just felt that the evil spirit in the north is very strong. Do you know why there is so much evil spirit? Nuliang Lusheng stopped the demon exterminator. Before entering the village, he discovered that there was demon energy in the north, and there were also demons nearby that were gathering in the north. The demon slayer village chief obviously knew, and he replied, that was the day when Penglai Island opened once every 50 years, so there were so many monsters gathering, wanting to go to Penglai Island to gain stronger power and a way to live forever. That's why it attracts many monsters. Ding, please go to Penglai Island to sign in. The system also issued a sign-in prompt in a timely manner. What kind of island is Penglai Island? There are still such rumors. Nura Rikushung didn't remember that there was such an island in Inuyasha. Either it didn't happen, or Nura Rikushung had forgotten it. After all, his memory was limited, and he had long forgotten the irrelevant memories over the years. The village chief, the demon slayer, knew everything and replied, Penglai Island is said to be the island of gods in ancient times. Qin Shi Huang once sent Shu Fu and 3,000 boys and girls to search for Penglai in order to find the place of immortality. Now the place where monsters gather, that's Penglai Island. Of course, these are just legends. No one can prove whether they are true, because once you land on that island, it is said that you can't come back. Then the demon slayers did not stay long and quickly left with the jade of four souls. Nuliang Rikusheng touched his chin and said with interest, Penglai Island, eternal life. Interesting, Platakoden, clean it up, let's go and have a look. Kikio asked, are you interested in eternal life? Nura Rikusheng nodded and admitted, I am interested, Platakoden, you are a human being, and the lifespan of a human being is only a few decades. I want you to be by my side forever, so after hearing about this immortal Penglai Island, you can go have a look. It doesn't matter to me. A person's lifespan of several decades is enough, and there is no immortality in this world. Even gods will die and disappear. There is no need to care about such unrealistic legends. Platakoden is very open-minded. As a human being, lifespan is already determined. There has never been any news in this world that anyone can really live forever, and monsters only have a long lifespan. Nuliang Lusheng had a different opinion, saying, as long as there is hope, I will naturally go and have a look. Okay, let's go and have a look. Seeing that Nu Liang was determined to leave, Kikio did not persist. After explaining to Zhao Feng and the villagers, Nuliang Lusheng and the two set off. In the sky, Princess Nura Raikuo was flying towards the north at high speed with Kikio in her arms. The powerful monster energy was released, scaring the monsters flying around them away. Penglai Island appears once every 50 years, but we don't know what's inside. Even the legendary Qin Shi Huang sent people to look for it. Platakoden Platakoden is also very curious about Penglai Island. She has heard of it before. It appears once every 50 years, but it has only appeared twice so far. This is the third time. Nuliang Rikusheng said indifferently, no matter what is going on inside, just relying on the legend that monsters can gain great power and eternal life, it is destined that a large number of monsters will come to fight for it, causing a bloody storm. Nuliang was flying at full speed, and it took him most of a day to reach the northern sea. Lu Sheng, please take a rest in front. It may be very confusing if you can't sleep later. Nura Rikusheng's physical strength must have been exhausted after flying for such a long time. Kikio wanted Nura Rikusheng to go to the Penglai Island in full strength. No one knew what dangers there would be, so it was better to be safe. Nura Rikusheng didn't take this consumption to heart, but looked at Kikio's worried expression and thought that it was still night, and Kikio was a human being and needed to sleep to replenish his energy. So Nuliang Lusheng nodded and flew downwards. After finding a larger tree, the two sat on the ground. Nuliang Lusheng looked at Kikio and said, Let's take a rest here, Kikio, it's late at night now, you can sleep for two hours and wait until the morning. It's not too late to go. Good. Kikio didn't refuse. Her body was just human, not as good as a monster's. It didn't matter even if she didn't sleep for several days and nights, but she felt sleepy. 
Immediately, he took the initiative to lean his head on Nura Rikusheng's shoulder and closed his eyes. Nura Rikusheng looked at Kikyo's beautiful face, the corners of his mouth raised slightly, and then he also leaned his head on Kikyo's head, the quiet atmosphere between the two of them breathing is clear and audible. Nura Rikusheng and Kikyo just relied on each other to rest. As time passed slowly, thousands of monsters gathered on the coast of the North Sea. The strength of these monsters varies. Most of them are little monsters or monster soldiers. There are also some monster generals, but there are no monster commanders. The demon commander already belongs to the scope of the big demon. He is the leader of some large demon organizations. Naturally, he will not leave his territory to try his luck here just for a mere rumor. If a hostile force finds an opportunity to take advantage of it, then directly finished. At this time, a monster with a human-like head but a bat body was swooping towards Nero Raikuo and Kikio. The demonic aura he exudes is enough to shock Shili, and he is a demon general with considerable strength. A demon with a half-demon aura, a human witch with spiritual power, also wants to go to Penglai Island. Sooner or later, he will die, so he might as well let me eat it to increase his demon power, Jia Jia. The bat monster smiled. The breath of a half-demon is different from that of a pure blood monster. Any monster with a little skill can distinguish the mixture of human breath and monster breath on a half-demon, and thus determine that it is a half-demon. Nura Rikusheng and Kikyo, who were resting in the grove, felt the enemy coming towards them at the same time. They opened their eyes, and Kikyo stared sharply at the bat demon flying towards them in the sky. Before Nura Riku could take action, very skillfully, he held the bow in his left hand and an arrow in his right hand. He aimed at the bat demon queen in the sky and shot a demon breaking arrow with purple spiritual power. The demon breaking arrow was shot out at half the speed it was originally shot out, but the speed suddenly accelerated just one second later. It was so fast that even the bat demon with the strength of the demon general had no time to dodge, and could only watch helplessly. Watching the arrow with spiritual power hit him. Ah. Before the bat demon had time to react, the spiritual power attached to the demon breaking arrow destroyed his whole body like a meat grinder. The entire action of arranging a bow and shooting arrows to eliminate the demon general only lasted a few seconds. Kikio calmly retracted her hand, as if she had done an insignificant thing. Oh, this is your strength. It's the first time I've seen you. It's really awesome. Nura Rikusheng's eyes lit up when he saw such a powerful Kikio. Although he had expected it, he was able to kill the demon general instantly with one arrow. It was really powerful. No wonder he was called the strongest Miko among Inuyasha. After being praised by Nura Rikusheng, Kikio just smiled and then said, Let's go, we have had enough rest. It's time to go to Penkai Island to see that island. Good. Nura Rikusheng picked up Platakoden and flew for half an hour before finally arriving at Beihai. He stood on a cliff and looked down. The beach in Beihai was really full of demons. All kinds of monsters gathered together, and some even started fighting. Kikio knew that Nura Raikuo did not belong to this world, so he did not know how Penglai Island appeared. He explained, Penglai Island opens once every 50 years. Every time it opens, it is accompanied by thick fog. Looking at the sea, the fog has already it's getting more intense, and Penglai Island will appear soon. Nuliang Raikuo put his hand dishonestly around Platakoden's waist and said, Let these monsters explore the way and see what is going on in Penglai Island. Half an hour later, a huge island-shaped black shadow appeared in the center of the sea. All the monsters knew that this was the opening of Penglai Island, so they rushed there. Those who could fly flew over, and those who couldn't made simple rafts to paddle across. More swim directly over. Seeing this, Nuliang Lusheng picked up Platakoden and flew away again. In the thick fog, standing outside could not see the scene inside. Haha, a group of guys who are not afraid of death are here. It's finally exciting. After being locked up in this miserable place for 50 years, it's finally opened again. But unfortunately, our four fighters have had their power sealed by the witches on Penglai Island and can't get out. Penglai Island is so boring. Quote, with so many monsters coming, it seems to have a good effect. It can help us kill some time. Gangluo has already gone out. I don't know how many monsters can cross Gangluo and come here. Penglai Island is really exciting. Quote, 
On a rock in a waterfall on Penglai Island, three monster men were discussing back to back. Several of them called themselves the Four Fighters, and one of them had already gone out to greet the guests. The Four Fighters were originally pure monsters outside of Horai Island, because they heard that there was a ringing furnace on the island that could increase their power. So 50 years ago, like other monsters, I took advantage of the opportunity that Penglai Island appeared every 50 years to attack this paradise where half demon lived and massacred other monsters. All the monsters that entered Penglai Island were also killed. The guardian witch of Penglai Island was unable to confront them head on. Song Neng used the artifact on the island to take away their power beads and sealed them at the cost of his own life. After being sealed by the demon bead, it does not mean that the strength of the four fighting gods has become weaker and dropped by one level. Their strength is still the same, but they cannot last forever because they will lose their demon bead. Die. I thought that the four gods of fighting would disappear and die slowly after losing the demon beads. Unexpectedly, the four gods of fighting discovered that as long as the half-demon living on Penglai Island was thrown into the ringing furnace, their strength would be restored and they would be able to survive. And it continues life, but not for long. So he carved all the remaining half-demon's marks into his own marks so that they could not escape, and waited for the four fighters to throw them one by one into the roaring furnace for digestion. Fifty years later, Penglai Island reappeared in the public eye, followed by a large number of monsters. After being bored for 50 years, the four gods of war were finally able to kill again. Degree. However, the other three were not interested in the miscellaneous fish, but were only interested in the monsters that could land on the island, so they asked Gang Luo, one of the four fighters, to eliminate the weak ones. In the sea, countless monsters are approaching Penglai Island, dreaming that they can obtain the power and immortality of Penglai Island and dominate the monster world. However, before they got close to Penglai Island, a small island-shaped turtle-shaped monster emerged from the sea. It was Gangra, one of the four fighters. Each of the four fighting gods is extremely powerful. When they invaded Penglai Island 50 years ago, they had the strength of the demon commander. Although the demon pearl has been sealed now, they just invested a Penglai Island. The half-demon went in and regained his strength. The strength of the four demon commanders is enough to show the strength of these four fighting gods. Even if they claim to be gods, they are not without ten points of evidence. Ha ha ha, there are so many monsters, I, Gangluo, can finally go on a killing spree today, ha ha ha. Gangluo's own demonic energy dispersed like a violent storm, shaking away all the demons flying in the sky and swimming in the water around him, and then fired one after another from the hole in the turtle shell on his back. Attack with fireballs. Each fireball was 2 meters in size and could explode anywhere it hit. In just a few seconds, a large number of those weak monsters died. It's great. It's so great. It has been 50 years since Gangluo killed anyone. He has been imprisoned in Penglai Island for 50 years. He has great strength but nowhere to release it. He is really depressed. This time he can finally vent his anger. Nura Raikuo and Kikio were flying in the sky. Nura Raikuo used Mingjing Shisui to hide his whereabouts from other monsters. Kikio said calmly, this monster is very strong. I can kill it with one arrow, but it will also consume a lot of spiritual power. The demon commander is far more powerful than the demon general and is the leader of a large demon organization. Although Platycodon can kill him with one arrow, it consumes a lot of spiritual power. Nura Rikusheng admired him and said, even the monster commander can be killed with one arrow. He is indeed the person I like. But leave this monster to me. I haven't reached the full state yet and you need to pay. It takes a lot of spiritual energy to kill this big tortoise, so just save your strength. Quote. Nura Rikusheng knew that Kikio could defeat Gora, but he was not prepared to hide behind Kikio to save his own power. Instead, he let his woman consume a lot of spiritual energy to kill Gora. It was undoubtedly a shameful act for him. Don't rush to do it now. Wait until he cleans up those miscellaneous fish before doing it. It will save us more effort. Nuliang Lusheng did not take action immediately, waiting for the big tortoise to clean up the garbage before talking. About a quarter of an hour later, a large number of monster corpses floated on the water, all of which were solved by a monster from Gangluo. With his demon commander's strength, it was easy to kill some small demon soldiers and other miscellaneous fish. 
There were even many demon generals who died here, but some demons still entered Penglai Island. But Gangluo is not worried, because there are three monsters stronger than him inside, and he himself can't just surround the other monsters with one monster. He has to leave some decent stuff for the people inside to play with, otherwise he won't be able to wait until he goes back. I'm going to be punished. It's boring. They are all weak creatures. Aren't there any stronger monsters? Gangluo looked around and saw corpses of monsters lying on the sea, but there was no monster that could cheer him up, and none of them could fight. Well, why is it dark? Gangluo raised his head, it was clearly still morning, but it was just after night, so why was it getting dark? However, I was even more surprised when I saw that it was not dark, but behind dark clouds. The sky was clear just now and it didn't look like it was raining. Why were the dark clouds so thick, it was like the sky was covered with a layer of black. Tiltiltal. In the dark clouds covering thousands of meters around, blue thunder and lightning are constantly accumulating. Thunder and lightning are rolling in the dark clouds, as if they are gathering momentum. Hey, 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 I feel bad. Looking at the power of the sky, Gangluo felt a crisis in his heart. This was not like the natural weather. Even if it was a thunderstorm, it would be impossible to gather such thunder. Follow the thunder and fall. Nu Liang was standing in the air, with a cruel smile on his face, his right hand raised and his index finger extended. The sound was like the punishment at the end of the generation spreading across Hainan and reaching Gang, Ten. Who? Who is talking? Gang Luo kept turning his head and looking around in fear, but there was no one around him. Finally, he saw a figure in the sky to his left and in front. The figure's right index finger pointed to the sky, and his left hand held a human witch. Before Gang Luo could say anything else, the dark clouds directly above him began to form a vortex, and blue thunder and lightning had already been brewing in the vortex. Nisyunai. As Nura Rikusheng's right index finger pointed down, the blue thunder and lightning in the vortex of dark clouds instantly fell towards Gang Luo below, and a 10-meter thick pillar carrying the power of destroying the world directly landed on Gang Luo. Gang Luo is one of the four gods of fighting. Among the four gods of fighting, he represents the Xuanwu with the strongest defensive power. He has a huge body and the strength of a demon. His defensive power cannot be underestimated. However, he still looks small under the power of thunder and lightning. Like ants. The thunder pillar directly chopped Gangluo, one of the four gods of fighting, into ashes, and even the corpses of monsters around him were completely evaporated. It seems that the attack was a bit heavy. Half of the power could kill that guy. I think I think more highly of him. Nuliang Lusheng retracted his fingers, and his power to control the celestial phenomena was simply awesome. He used the most powerful thunder in the world for his own use. Who in this world can compete with the power of heaven? However, the power is strong. Even if you want to charge up such an attack, it will take a long time to move forward. It cannot be used in an instant battle with a strong enemy. It is a good method to use it to slay people. Lu Sheng, you are summoning thunder from nature. How is your consumption? Is it much? Kikio was extremely shocked. Nura Raikuo was very powerful and had a powerful demon sword that could be fired with blue flames and weapons. It could also summon thunder from nature. No one in this world could have Nura. Lu Sheng has such a gorgeous skill list. I'm just quoting the thunder from nature. I didn't release it myself, so it doesn't consume much. Nura Rikusheng's celestial control technique is to control the weather. After eight years of continuous research and exploration, he can use the natural energy to control the weather, so just controlling nature will not consume much power for him. Jigen admired, it's really magical to draw thunder. I'm afraid the legendary thunder god and lightning girl are not as capable as you. Let's go to the island. Nura Rikusheng landed on Penglai Island from the air with Platycoden Grandiflorum in his arms and the original dark clouds in the sky that were threatening to destroy the city had dissipated, revealing a clear blue sky again. Ding, the system is checking in, please wait five minutes. Nu Liang looked at the bare, valley-like island and said with disappointment, Peng Lai Island, just hearing the name is quite poetic. Legend has it that people can live forever. I thought it was a fairy island independent of the human world. The result is is this such a deserted island. It's very disappointing. Nura Rikusheng felt that he had been deceived by the name of Penglai Island. In his opinion, 
Peng Lai Island was a remote and independent overseas fairy island, full of divinity. The result was that such an island was no different from the islands that can be seen everywhere outside. The island is actually rumored to be magical. But it only opens once every 50 years, so this island should have some stories. Nuru Rikusheng and Kikyo started wandering around the island. Ding, the sign-in is successful. Congratulations to the host for obtaining the Elixir of Immortality X10. After wandering around for 5 minutes, the system has completed signing in. When Nuru Rikusheng heard the four words, Elixir of Immortality, he was immediately attracted by it. Although he hadn't seen the effect of the medicine yet, it was very impressive as soon as he heard it. I didn't expect that when I went to this fake Peng Lai Island, I actually signed up for a pill that really increases my lifespan. This is really an unexpected sign in reward, and there are 10 pills. I just don't know how many years one pill can increase. Is it true to the name of the pill? It's the same as immortality, but I don't know if there are any side effects or restrictions. Nuliang Lusheng went to check the introduction of this elixir of immortality with anticipation. The elixir of immortality is an elixir that can unconditionally increase the lifespan of any creature. An elixir can make the person who takes it stay at the age of the person who takes it forever and will not age again. Unless he is killed, there will be no limit to his lifespan, just like the sky, life. And after taking it, any negative injuries on the body can be recovered instantly. Therefore, the pill goes against the will of heaven, so you can only take one pill, and the second pill will be ineffective. No longer aging, no lifespan limit, truly eternal life, even if you take it when you are about to die, you can instantly resurrect with full blood. The elixir of immortality, this is worthy of the six words of the elixir of immortality. Nura Rikusheng was sure that he had read it correctly, and there were still ten of them, which meant that ten people could live forever. If these were taken out, it would definitely cause a big shock in the world, and others would go crazy to fight for them. However, Nura Rikusheng did not take it out immediately. Although she only had Platycodon with her, it would not be easy to explain later, so he planned to take it out when he left Peng Lai Island, so that he would have an excuse to say that he brought it back from Peng Lai Island. More reasonable. Ha ha ha, I'm so lucky. I didn't expect to meet a demon level half demon here. I would throw you into the furnace to refine you. Nu Liang and Raikuo walked on Peng Lai Island for half an hour when an extremely arrogant voice came from behind them. Platycodon turned around, took up the bow and shot the arrow in one go. A demon-breaking arrow was shot, and the brown-skinned burly man opposite him stared. He stretched out his right fist and hit the demon-breaking arrow with oppressive demonic power. The fist and the demon-breaking arrow were in a stalemate for three seconds before exploding. Beast Luo's body flew backwards from the smoke and smashed into the wall and was stuck. Zoro squeezed out from the wall, his face was not as arrogant as at first, and he said solemnly, you are a witch. What a powerful spiritual power. The four gods of fighting were harmed miserably by the witch on this island. Unexpectedly, he, Zoro, would meet a witch again today, and it seemed that this witch was no weaker than the shrine maiden Suahime on Peng Lai Island. Kikio stared at Zhu Luo expressionlessly and said, Who are you? Tell me your name. Zhu Luo flew up from the ground, and he snorted coldly, We are the four gods of fighting who rule Peng Lai Island, and I am Zhu Luo, one of the four gods of fighting. Nura Rikusheng took a few steps forward and stood in front of Kikio. He mocked disdainfully, The four gods of fighters. That big turtle outside is also one of the four gods of fighters. He is just a vulnerable thing. His name is Gang Luo, and he is my younger brother. It turns out that he was killed by you, seeking death. With murderous intent in his eyes, Zhu Luo leaned over and rushed towards Nura Rikusheng. Nura Rikusheng stood still for a moment, but behind him, doors with golden ripples opened one by one, and 18 doors opened in an instant. From the golden ripples weapons continued to be fired in the ripples. Zhu Luo was so shocked that he didn't dare to hold back and directly used his most powerful skill, Beast Transformation, to transform himself from a human into an orc, which could enhance his own speed and strength. When the weapons of King's Treasure flew towards him, he avoided several of them with vigorous movements, but because the weapons were fired so densely and so fast, there was no way to avoid them, so veins popped up in his arms, and he kept waving his hands to knock them away. Fired Weapons 
It's a good kill, it's commendable, but how do you defend next? Nu Liang Lusheng's voice fell. Behind him, the original 18 golden doors suddenly opened a hundred more. A total of 118 doors fired weapons at the same time, making it dizzying and impossible to resist. What? Zhu Luo was dumbfounded. He had tried his best to launch weapons from all 18 gates at the same time. Now there were so many. Where did this guy get so many powerful weapons? In what form did he launch them? Simply outrageous. Zhu Luo flew away without even thinking, inserting those precious phantoms into the mountain wall one by one and blasting the mountain apart. Nu Liang's red pupil stared at the beast, stretched out his right hand, and surrounded the golden door in six directions around the beast. Fake, fake, right. Zhu Luo was instantly surrounded. He looked at himself surrounded by a circle of glittering golden doors, a circular shape that completely surrounded him with no way out. This made Zhu Luo break into cold sweat. What on earth are these golden gates? This skill is too shameless. He is already flying in the air and can it be filled ten times around him. Nura Rikusheng clenched his right hand and fired out the noble phantasm around the door of the beast, turning the beast inside into a hedgehog. In the face of absolute ability, even if the strength is at the same level, there is still an insurmountable gap. All the golden doors dissipated, and the appearance of Zoro, who was stabbed like a hedgehog by swords, Guns, swords and halberds, appeared in the eyes of Nuru Rikusheng and Kikyo, and finally fell from the sky powerlessly. Nuliang Lusheng waved his hand, and the dozen or so weapons stuck on Zhu Luo's body turned into golden light and dissipated, leaving only the opponent's body riddled with holes. Let's go. Nuru Rikusheng patted the non-existent dust on his clothes with his hand. To him, the demon commander was just a quick kill. Who made him invincible with his moves? Perhaps only the demon king could struggle a few times. Kikio followed behind without saying a word. She used to think that she was very strong, but now compared with Nuru Rikusheng, she realized that there are really people outside the world, and there is a sky outside the world. Huh. After Gang Luo, Zhu Luo was also killed. Which powerful demon came to this island? It's not easy to kill Gang Luo and Zhu Luo one after another. Somewhere in the open space on Penglai Island, Long Luo, the leader of the four gods of fighting, had just killed the monsters that came to the island. After experiencing the pleasure of killing monsters, he discovered that two of the four gods of fighting had been killed. Just now it doesn't matter if Luo is killed, even Beast Luo is killed at this time. Is there a difficult enemy coming? Ha, huh, this is interesting. Ji Luo, come back first. Long Lui. Just in case, the enemy can kill two of the four fighters one after another, which is enough to show that he is not a simple character. It would be funny if the boat capsizes in the gutter. Nuru Rikusheng and the two were walking on the beach on the edge of Penglai Island. Kikio suddenly said, Rikusheng, I feel the aura of half-demon here, and there are more than one. Half-demon. Yes, but these half-demon spirits are very weak. They don't look like monsters from outside Penglai Island, but more like the aborigines of Penglai Island. Of course, this is just Kikyo's guess. Because he is so stingy, it should be impossible to get around the big turtles and the four fighters at the door. That's why Kumo speculated whether it was from the island. Aboriginal people. A demon is coming. Nuliang Lusheng felt a good amount of demonic energy in front of him, but he didn't care. Anyone who dared to block the way would just push them all the way. A figure in front was walking forward slowly like Nuru Rikusheng and Kikyo. The distance between the two parties was getting closer and closer, and they could clearly see what the other party looked like. Nu Liang and Raikuo saw a tall white-haired man in front of them. He was wearing a white dress and a thin layer of armor on top. His face was cold and emotionless. At the feet of the white-haired man, a little monster only reached the height of his calf, holding a human-headed staff that did not match his height. Lord Seshomaru, there seems to be a monster in front of you. He looks very strong. There is also a Miko. Her spiritual power is not weak. But how can a Miko walk with a monster? This. Isn't it consistent with common sense? The little monster at the white-haired man's feet, Xie Jian, couldn't understand how the monster and the shrine maiden could come together. Wouldn't it be possible for you and me to survive if they met? That demon is a half-demon. 
Zhejian's weak strength could not tell that the demonic power of a half-demon was very different from that of a 3.1 pure-blooded demon, but Seshomaru was different. With his powerful demonic power, he immediately sensed Nero Raikuo. His demonic aura is mixed with human scent, and he is undoubtedly half-demon just like his stupid brother Inuyasha. Half-demon. But why do I feel that this half-demon is more powerful than Inuyasha? Of course, Xie Jian would not doubt Seshamaru's words, but he had also met Seshamaru's younger brother, the half-demon Inuyasha. The monster also has a strong feeling, but it is much worse than the man with strange hair in front of him. So my younger brother is useless. Any half-demon you meet now has the power to crush Inuyasha. He is really useless. Seshomaru looked down upon his half-demon half-brother. If he could, he would kill that guy. If he stayed in this world, he would only tarnish the great general's excellent bloodline. Dot. The two sides met face to face on the wider beach and stopped, but neither side gave way. Half-demon, get out of the way. When Nura Raikuo and Seshomaru looked at each other, Seshomaru directly said, Half-demon, which made Nura Raikuo twitch the corner of his mouth. Nura Raikuo looked at the other party's outfit and immediately knew who the other party was, but he was not afraid and directly said, If a good dog doesn't block the way, it's you who should get out of the way. Before Seshomaru could say anything, Shijian had already spoken. He said angrily, Hey, you monster with a strange hairstyle is so unreasonable that you actually called us, Seshomaru-sama, a dog! Exclamation mark. He is a dog with the noblest monster bloodline. Do you understand a dog, it is not a dog. Nuliang Rikusheng sneered, aren't dogs and dogs the same thing? They just have different names. Do you think that if you change the name, you will think that you are not a dog? Do you want to change the breed? Xie Jian still wanted to fight back, but Sesamaru's look made Xie Jian so frightened that he didn't dare to say anything and retreated directly. If you don't get out of the way, you'll die. Seshomaru didn't say much, he just showed his murderous intention, his right hand became like a claw, showing sharp dog claws. There is only one outcome, I live and you die. Nura Rikusheng drew out his Zanpakuto and pointed it diagonally at the ground, and said to Kikio on the side, Kikio, step aside and don't help me. Be careful. Kikio believed in Nura Rikusheng's strength, so he stepped back after giving instructions. Wrong views. Seshomaru could feel the power of the half-demon in front of him, and he would not have time to worry about evil views when the fight started. Okay, okay. Xie Jian Jian she retreated quickly. He, a little demon, couldn't withstand the fierce fight between the two. Nura Raikuo and Seshomaru's demonic energies collided with each other, and the powerful impact caused the ground to crack. Suddenly, Seshomaru moved. He came to Nura Rikusheng in an instant at a speed invisible to the naked eye, and grabbed Nura Rikusheng with one claw. Well, Xie Jian, who was hiding behind, hurriedly applauded when he saw this scene. He said proudly, Sure enough, no monster is a match for Lord Seshomaru. A mere half-demon dares to act recklessly in front of Lord Seshomaru. He really doesn't know whether to live or die. Kikio listened to Xie Jian's disparaging words to Nura Raikuo and glanced at him. Xie Jian was so frightened that he quickly shut up and curled up. That was Amiko. How could a little monster like him be killed with one arrow? Um. Seshomaru grabbed Nura Rikusheng with his claws, but the claws passed through Nura Rikusheng's body and did not hit the entity. The next second, Seshomaru noticed something strange and hurriedly retreated. Abu. A knife emitting cold light was slashed at the place where Seshomaru had just stood, and more than ten white hairs were cut off and fell to the ground. Nura Rikusheng put the back of the sword on his shoulder, looked at the dog in front of him with appreciative eyes, and praised, You can avoid it at the critical moment, and your alertness is good. Afterimage. No, afterimage is just a shadow left on the spot by a high speed. It can't be so real. Doppelganger. It seems wrong, phantom. When facing Nura Raikuo, Seshomaru didn't say anything. Instead, he analyzed the trick he just used and thought about how to break it. If you don't come, then I will. Nura Rikusheng held Senban Sakura in his hand, and the cherry blossoms disappeared instantly, leaving only a large piece of cherry blossom petals falling beautifully where he disappeared. Ding! Seshomaru's sense of smell and perception were very keen. Without thinking about turning back, 
he took out a knife from his waist and slashed it, and met with Nira Raikuo's Senban Sakura. Nira Rikusheng's heart moved slightly, and he felt the powerful power coming from his hand. The power of Seshomaru was really not small. The blades of the two knives rubbed against each other and splashed sparks. Nura Raikuo suddenly withdrew his strength, leaving Seshomaru with nowhere to release his power. Then he took advantage of this gap and kicked Nura Raikuo out. Seshomaru twisted his body and narrowly avoided it. At the same time, green venom appeared on the claws of his left hand. Poison flower claw. Nura Raikuo looked at the venom on the dog's paws and knew not to touch it. A color also appeared on his left hand, but it was blue, and it was still a burning flame. Karma Fire. The two struck each other with their left hands, and the power of Karma Fire was stronger. The poison flower claw that instantly defeated Seshomaru was infected with Karma Fire at the same time. Seshomaru's face changed slightly, and he immediately stepped back a few positions, looking at the high-temperature blue flame on his left hand covering the entire palm with his powerful demon power, and then forcibly shed his skin. Although it was painful, Seshomaru could do it. His face was expressionless, so he didn't let the fire of karma continue to spread. This flame. This was the first time Seshomaru had seen such a strange fire. The contamination was like a maggot attached to the bone and it was burning continuously, as if it would burn out all the contamination before it would stop. Nura Rikusheng didn't care what Seshomaru was thinking at this time. When he stepped a little, the entire ground exploded, and his body rushed towards Seshomaru at the speed of sound. Seeing this, Seshomaru stretched out two fingers, and a yellow-green light whip appeared on his index finger and middle finger, and then he whipped forward. Nura Raikuo struck Senban Sakura in his hand quickly, cutting off the whip of light inch by inch, and then came to Seshomaru. Boom! A roar resounded, and huge smoke slowly floated around the two people. Then the two figures retreated from the smoke and distanced themselves. Half demon, tell me your name. It was rare for Seshomaru to take the initiative to ask someone's name, because it meant that Seshomaru had recognized this enemy. Nuliang Lusheng. Seshomaru, you are very good. As a half demon, you have such strength. You are worthy of my full strength. As a great demon, Seshomaru has been traveling in the Warring States period for hundreds of years and has seen many strong men, but this is the first time he has met a half-demon who can compete with him. Seshomaru looks down on half-demon because all half-demon have impure blood. A monster has limited achievements in life. Unexpectedly, he met a different half-demon today, so he was very excited now. It was rare to have a decent opponent. After hearing Seshomaru's words, Shijian also admired Nuru Raikuo a little, and murmured to himself, It's incredible that this half-demon can make Seshomaru-sama use all his strength to deal with it, but even if this half-demon is killed, killing is enough to be proud of. Then use your full strength, otherwise it will be too boring. Now Seshomaru doesn't have a decent weapon in his hand. Powerful demon swords such as natural teeth, fighting ghosts and gods, and explosive teeth were all obtained after the plot. But it is still 50 years before the plot begins. Seshomaru only uses one. Relative fame is not considered too demonic power. Seshomaru did not speak, but expressed it with actions. The already strong demonic energy in his body was even stronger at this moment. The demonic energy affected the surrounding environment, the ground cracked layer by layer, and a large number of small stones shot out and his body grew taller, the whites of his eyes are blood red, and his body is also quite muscular. Seshomaru can release his full power by releasing demon power, so that all his strength, speed, spirit, endurance and other values will be greatly improved, and the injuries on his body will be quickly regenerated and recovered. In that case, I won't be polite. Feeling the surging demon power of Seshomaru, he has initially reached the level of the demon king. This makes Nura Raikuo's hands itch. This Seshomaru is indeed a very good opponent. In the same level, Seshomaru's strength is definitely to level. After all, she has the purest noble blood of the great demon King Dog General, and her mother is also a powerful dog demon. Nura Raikuo also had to work harder. He held the handle of Senban Sakura in his hand, making the tip of the sword downward, and then released Senban Sakura. Swastika the vertically falling Senban Sakura unexpectedly did not fall to the ground, but a ripple appeared on the ground, swallowing the falling Senban Sakura and disappearing. 
Then Nero Raikuo's demonic energy also surged. Starting 10 meters away from him, two rows of 3 meter high blades appeared on the left and right sides, extending in a straight line behind Nero Raikuo and Seshomaru. Hem, what kind of trick is that? The number of knives is so amazing. At a rough look, there are dozens or hundreds of them. There are no handles, and the blades look like two rows of sharp teeth growing out of the ground. Xiejian was hiding aside, his big eyes looking at Nuro Raikuo and Seshomaru who were surrounded by two rows of blades in front of him. Don't you know what kind of trick this is to restrict Seshomaru's movements? Kikio knew that the knife used by Riku Nura, called Senban Sakura by Riku Nura, had the ability to turn the entire blade into thousands of tiny blades, and the blades were scattered as beautifully as cherry blossom petals. Senban Sakura Kagegen. As Raikuo Nura shouted out Senban Sakura's name, these two rows of hundreds of giant blades turned into pink cherry blossoms and floated away at the same time. In just two seconds, these huge blades floated away. The blade directly turns into hundreds of millions of pink petals, which are very dazzling when you look at them, making you feel like you are in a sea of cherry blossom petals. However, Seshomaru, who was standing on the spot, felt the stinging sensation after the cherry blossoms fell on him. The powerful demonic energy formed a demonic wind and blew in all directions with him as the center. Then Seshomaru stepped a little closer and stared at the person in front of him with his blood-red eyes. Nura Rikushung and Guoden's sword appeared in front of Nura Rikushung almost in an instant. However, facing this attack so close at hand, Nuliang Rikushung had no expression on his face and his eyes did not even blink, looking calm and calm. The next second, countless cherry blossoms emerged to form a wall to block Seshamaru's sword. Then, two groups of tens of millions of cherry blossoms gathered together and rushed towards Seshamaru's left and right sides. Seshomaru quickly retreated without even looking at it. The two Sakura attacks lost their target and collided together. However, they did not disperse but merged together to pursue Seshomaru. Seshomaru frowned and immediately started to fly. Nura Rikushung looked up, and raised his right hand that was beating beside him. Hundreds of millions of cherry blossom petals rose from the ground to the sky, gathered on top of Seshomaru's head, and then quickly collided with each other. Seshomaru saw that the speed of Sakura's attack had actually increased two or three times. He had no time to dodge, and his whole body was submerged by the cherry blossom petals and crashed to the ground. The ground instantly exploded, sending up a large amount of smoke and dust. Lord Seshomaru. Xiejian looked at the smoke worriedly. He didn't expect that the dignified Seshomaru-sama would be beaten by a half-demon and put him at a disadvantage. It was simply unbelievable. And what's the matter with those cherry blossom petals, which can not only defend against attacks, but also have such fast speed and lethality? Curious Xie Jian happened to see a few cherry blossoms floating in the air in front of him. He stepped forward and reached out to touch it, but the moment he touched it, two blood marks appeared on his hand, and the flesh was cut open, although the wound was very small, but it was actually cut apart. Oh my god, what kind of cherry blossom petals are these? They are clearly blades. Xie Jian was so frightened that he hurriedly ran back, not daring to be touched by the cherry blossom petals. Each of these cherry blossom petals was equivalent to a sharp blade. One or two petals may not be so lethal, but looking at the number of cherry blossom petals, there are too many to count. If they gather in one place and attack, the power will be very powerful. While Nura Raikuo and Seshomaru were fighting, two black shadows landed silently on the nearby cliff and looked down. These two people were the two remaining surviving gods of the four fighters, Ryu Luo and Fierce. Luo. The red-haired Ji Luo looked at the very attractive sea of cherry blossoms below, and he exclaimed, Long Luo, what's going on with those cherry blossoms? How can there be such a huge amount? Long Luo yelled, you can tell at a glance. It's the two monsters over there who are fighting. One is a half-demon and the other is a dog monster. The strength of these two guys cannot be underestimated. They must kill Gang Luo and Zhu Luo. Either one of them, or both. Hey, what are you buying for these two? Ji Luo was a little shocked. Although he was a monster commander, compared to the two monsters below, it seemed that he could be crushed. Long Luo pondered, I seem to have heard of that dog demon. His name seems to be Seshomaru. He is the son of the former great demon dog general of the western kingdom. As for the other half demon, 
I have never heard of it. O two O. Look, the dog demon was rushed to the ground by the cherry blossoms. What a beautiful attack method. Ji Luo was fascinated by Senban Sakura's attack method. Although his flames were not bad, compared to the pink cherry blossoms in the sky, they were still hit by the dimensionality reduction. Long Luo said with a gloomy face, those are not cherry blossoms, they are all tiny blades. With such a large number of blades, I don't know what kind of demon sword it is, but it is definitely better than my wind blade fang. Both are much stronger than thunder blade fang. The desire to obtain this knife arose in his heart, but he quickly restrained himself. When the smoke dissipated, Seshomaru was lying in a crater. His clothes were damaged in many places, his body was covered with scars, and he even spat out a mouthful of blood. An attack with hundreds or even thousands of cherry blossom petals does not seem to have much effect, but an attack with hundreds of millions of cherry blossom petals is full of damage. What a tough move. Seshomaru stood up from the ground, and the small wounds healed quickly visible to the naked eye. This was Seshomaru's ability, which could make the wounds heal quickly with the help of demonic energy. If you want to defeat him, you have to get close to him first. Although these blades chase very fast, I am faster. A along Po. Seshomaru struck out with a sword, and the demonic energy released an attack like a thunder dragon through the demonic sword, splitting the ground with the force of breaking bamboo and pressing forward. Nura Raikuo still stood there indifferently, but when Soryu Po passed halfway, he built a pink defensive wall of cherry blossom petals in front, completely defeating Soryu Po. Block. When the defensive wall dispersed, Seshomaru had disappeared from Nura Rikushung's sight. Boring induction techniques. Nura Rikushung didn't even need to think about it. The attack just now attracted Nura Rikushung's attention, and Seshomaru was waiting for that moment of opportunity to quickly approach Nura Rikushung. Nura Raikuo moved his hand, and the cherry blossom petals scattered around him quickly formed a semicircular sphere with him as the center outside the injury free circle, forming an absolute defense similar to Kaden. OJ. Seshomaru appeared silently behind Nura Rikushung, and slashed with his sword. The demonic power attached to the sword exploded a gap when it hit the cherry blossom petals, but Nura Rikushung was fine. Well, it was Seshomaru on the contrary, because the counter shock force revealed gaps and flaws. Nura Raikuo turned around, seized Seshomaru's flaw, and moved his right hand forward to make a virtual grip. All the hundreds of millions of cherry blossom petal blades were controlled by Nura Raikuo to completely surround Seshomaru. Forming a huge pink sphere, like a giant egg. Hangjing Senban Sakura Kajian. Ouch. Before Nura Rikushung could completely shrink the cherry blossom ball, he heard a loud beast roar. Thanks for watching, please subscribe and support my channel.